begin tonight's session in the catacombs of Castle Ravenloft. The journey here has been fraught with peril, but both the characters and, I must say, the players themselves have shown themselves to be resolute. Both in skill and boldness of heart, they have faced down the most terrible sorrows of Barovia and have not only managed to maintain their own sense of optimism and joy of life, but have even found small spaces in the dark to plant small seeds of joy. A feat any Barovian would think utterly impossible in this demi-plane of dread. So if you're looking to catch up fully on this story, I do encourage you to check YouTube. Uh, we have um, our episodes up there to experience this grand story in its entirety. But if you're content to join the journey just now where you need a little refresher, here is what's happening at the moment. Last session, the Silver Seven planned their last excursion, excuse me, incursion into Castle Ravenloft under the cover of a non-detection spell. Knowing this could potentially be their last moments together, many members fought to seize that moment. The Paladin Clare anointed the monk fighter Sivor, initiating him officially into the Order of the Silver Dragon. Jeswaldo proposed to Maris, and the two of them were married immediately that evening. After a restful night's sleep, with the help of the Order of the Feather, the party has entered Castle Ravenloft, the home of the vampire lord Strahd von Sarovich. They must destroy him or have their own souls forever trapped in this cursed realm. They have determined they must destroy a magic construct known as the Heart of Sorrow, which seems to prevent Strahd from taking damage. The party on the mission to do this, however, stopped to investigate the tomb of Strahd's brother Sergei hoping to find a magic artifact sealed within, but soon stumbled upon a trap by which one by one, they swapped places with undead creatures. The fight was long, but the party succeeded. Now six of the members lie in an unknown chamber hewn into the very rock. Elimus alone stands in the catacombs. He has refused orders to depart as ordered by a mysterious voice. And as a result, a nearby tomb has opened. Stepping out are three monstrous hounds, red eyes burning like coals, flesh desiccated, their slobber hissing on the ground like acid. Behind him, ghost, or behind them, their ghostly handler hovers, anxious for the hunt. Silver Seven, the spotlight is on you. Well, at least... We don't have to worry about anything bad happening to Elimus. <laughs> yeah. Everyone I mean, all right? He seems safe out there. I, I'm totally joking. He's up there by himself. Yeah, but he's... to get out of here now. But he's Elimus. He's all right. He's also squishy as fuck. But he's plucky, you know? He's you know, plucky. that's fair. I would never know that. I, 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 not, I just want to kind of turn to look at Maris. Is it, really? You think Elimus is plucky? No, like maybe, maybe like I'll, I'll I'll find a better adjective. So while <laughs> she's thinking about the right adjective to describe a libus, um, I will turn to um... Scrappy. He's Scrappy. <laughs> I would say maybe Crappy. Okay, that's what um, she said. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Cyborg and um, Ethelflaed, and say, uh, can y'all find us a way out of here? Because I don't know where the fuck we are. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and yeah, then, okay. DM, uh, I want, so I'm looking at the map here. Is there a hole in this ceiling? There's a hole in the ceiling. Uh, what is this dotted line that exists here? That's visible to you, is it? <laughs> it is. Mm. I mean, <laughs> Cyborg mean, searches I was going to say, should we? I was like, I haven't mm. rolled perception Yes. Please, uh, those of you I... um, who are down there as you uh, say this may make a perception check as we cutscene over to Elimus. Yes. So you I see these three hounds emerge and their ghastly huntsman master behind them. What do you do? Um. I really want to stay and kill him. <laughs> but I'll I mean, st 
I'll step fireball south. and dip, just like up uh, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll step south to see if the teleporter still works. I'm guessing it doesn't. You take a step to the side, and everyone else, you suddenly see a flash of light as lying on top of sort of a pile of um, timbers that once was a coffin, a limus suddenly zoom, appears into the chamber below. I stand up. I found a limus. They have a cave um. troll. <laughs> Do they really? Is there a cave troll? No. Uh. But they've just summoned undead. Wonderful. Oh, More things many? to fight our way the, through. The Brides of Strahd are there also. Did you, did huh. you see them? Yes. Uh, uh, did I see them? I could see um, them from You could on very me. faintly see three figures. Yes, I saw them. Yes. Do you think that they told Strahd? Do you think Strahd knows we're here at this point? or He will do soon we... if we do not go up and take care of them. Okay. What about that? So, uh, I rolled a 16 on my perception check, DM. I did too. Okay. Um, at 16, you can see that uh, covered in the ceiling is completely covered in cobwebs. Um, almost gives it sort of a mossy texture. But looking over to one corner, it looks like the cobwebs are sort of moving a bit up and down, almost like a membrane, as if there is some movement of the air displacing them a bit where it isn't along other parts of the ceiling. <laughs> Cyborg, uh, Cyborg is going to go ahead and beat his wings uh, against the ceiling to just sort of <clears throat> create a little bit of wind flow to see if he can get the cobwebs to like part. Yeah, it kicks up a lot of dust <laughs> as like, you go closer to it. You see either. them starting to Sorry, tear I apart. I I'm not wearing a mask. Some of that's bone, though. That's not bad. It's just, uh, Did you it's find a way out? I, uh, uh, you, he, he flies up to the spot where he saw the cobwebs moving and s starts to uh, uh, see if there's any sort of opening or airflow that would have occurred there. Um, yeah, so just tearing it apart, you can see, yes, the extending up maybe 30 feet. Uh, you, you, do you have dark vision? You don't, do you? Extending I... up into darkness, there is a small passage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so th there's definitely a, a passage here. Uh, are the sides of the walls smooth, or do they feel like someone could like roughly climb them? Would I need to sort of just fly? You probably up? need to drop a rope or something. Just um, Waldo, yeah. have you used your wand? Um, no. I'll start searching for secret doors. Really, I. Mm -hmm. okay. um, um, Cyborg, can you take this rope and fly it up and see if there's somewhere we can attach it to? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he and try not of... to get dust everywhere. Have... And as he's fl as he's flying up, I'm going to uh, summon a uh, ball of light in my hand and send it going up the passageway. Oh, I was going to say I, I draw my moon sword and sort of fly, a la very superhero esque, like <laughs> straight up with that rope in the other hand. As I, you know, he feels very cool. Eris looks over at just Waldo and is like, "Since when have you been able to do that?" Maybe uh, you're rubbing off on him. Did it yesterday too. Yeah, I, I did. It did that <laughs> wedding. Did. Yesterday was such a blur. I was just so delirious. <laughs> I know he did that. I, I literally did it as we were getting married, Paris. <laughs> I forgot, as and then my light turned out. off. Mm. Oh, no, again. Can, can, you it, can you do it for Liz? <laughs> Sean, can you do it for Liz? Yeah. All right. There like, we there oh, we wow. go. Oh my God! Wow. So wow. Fun. Uh, how about a investigation check from Elimus and from Cyvor? Anyone else wanna? I'll wait and see what you do, and then. I don't know, <laughs> like to provide <laughs> me. Ins I will. That was a crit fail from Cyvor. Uh, Twenty-eight. Ooh. Good job. Elimus, this chamber again seems just purely hewn from the very rock of Castle of the um, Pillar Stone. Uh, and no, no thing, no hinges, no passageways, no secret doors, only the one above. And Cyvor, as you fly up, um, 
illuminated, you see the war the stone gets more and more worked to the point where it looks finely chiseled on the inside as you come up into what seems to be a 10 by 10 foot chamber about 10 feet high with a solid slab in front of you. As, as in like when I come up to the saw, am I still in the, no, I'm in the room now, right? I mean, it's not the slabs on, not on top of the hole. Like I'm in the room itself. Correct, yes. Okay, as if where a door or something would be. It, it leads to a room. Well, let's go. And he, he'll, uh, uh, oh, hang on. Uh, he'll, he'll take out from his pack, he said, hopefully optimistic that he remembered to pack such things. Um, backpack, manacles, ah, uh, Peter, Peter. And he takes the, the little, uh, drives the, uh, uh, steel Peter into the stonework and then helps to sort of brace the rope. He's like, okay, um, should I come down to, to help or should I stay up here to brace? No, we're already coming up. Oh, okay, bracing then. Yep, nope, that's just Waldo. He's coming up. No, I'm going last. Oh, okay. I'm going to pick up a Kantha and send her up the rope before me. Oh, what did you say you used to brace it? Uh, steel piton. Oh, piton. Nice. Piton. Piton piton. Piton piton. A piton piton. Ooh, there's a character name for you. Write that down. I know, I don't like... <laughs> Uh, so uh, we're all going up one by one, I think. One by yes. one, you all get up there. It's not quite room for you all at the top because there is only um, a few <clears throat> feet on each side of this hole, this um, square hole, which is a, itself <laughs> probably about five feet across. So you can all kind of be around the edge of it looking down. And then there is the um, hey guys. door to the tomb sitting there. Don't, don't crush my wings. Oh, so <laughs> which door is it that it comes out to? I think it's that slab over there. Um, oh my gosh, small fly. You do not know because you are inside. Well, <laughs> or it might be that slab. Usually open the door. <laughs> wait, no, wait, 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 wait. So what was out there? What was that? I miss. We heard three ghostly oh, dogs. Tomb. Another ghost figure, and the brides of Strad. But they were locked behind the bars. If they were truly locked, who knows? So we're stepping out to a fight. I mean, aren't we all? If we're going up into that tomb area, then yes. I mean, right. let's let's be honest. The likelihood of me trying to get past them without being seen is basically zero. So, yeah. fair enough. Okay, here we go. This is going to have grave consequences. Your jokes are dead. <laughs> Your jokes are dead. Just Waldo kind of just pushes Cypher back into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too bad he can fly. <laughs> yeah, oh, so, damn it. Cyber's over, like hovering over the hole. Like I, I deserve that. I deserve that. Just it's the thought that counts. About it later. All right, here we go. And on three. One. Are you guys just hustling it down? <laughs> so like, are you trying to kill? do this quietly at all? I, well, actually, uh, my suggestion is that um, Jeswalda opens the door and just tries to get a bead on where our enemies are. First. That was what I was wondering. Okay, yes, we're going to do where, that. Where are we currently on the map, DM? <clears throat> we don't know. No, no, we don't know. We will right. find out. I shortly. will. Uh, I will attempt to open the tomb as quietly as I can, but I have a feeling it's going to involve a strength check. <laughs> yes, a straight strength oh, check. Oh, we're inside please. one of them. Okay. <laughs> it's all about the legs. Do you want some help from the knees? Ow, my leg! Knees. <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, I have rolled a five. Looks over. Looks you over hear just all those strain and then <laughs> no. yell. Hang on a minute. Uh, Alimus okay, wants to try. Open. Maybe he uh, maybe he pushed himself a little too hard last night, huh? huh? Oh, uh, damn. I was trying to be cocky. <laughs> um, I am going to grab Maris and have her help me. Um, <laughs> and actually, I, I want to have her. <gasps> all right. All right. Because she's okay. actually stronger than me. All right. So, oh. It's a strength Oop. save. Oh, yeah. damn. I was going to be so cool. That's still, oh, wow. that's still a natural 20. That's still a <laughs> yeah. 20. Never mind. Yeah. Got this First nat 20 of the night. And that, that will be, be enough. Um, Cyvor. This uh, and like one inch punches it and it just. I loosened it for you. You bastard. <laughs> Again, this is a 10 by 10 foot room. 
<clears throat> That's my boy. I give you the choice now <laughs> if you all wish to be up and squeezing or if some of you wish to still be on the rope on the way up. Uh. Kantha, get in the hole. <laughs> wow. I think. Just trust wow. me. Wow. I think uh, so. Meta wise, I think those of us with evasion should n would, should be the ones up here. There are other people perhaps in the hole. I'll be All in right. the hole. <laughs> yeah, Give Alimus, you stay. Alimus. You stay down there. <laughs> Actually, let let me. Need, I'll be up at the top as well. I've got good saves. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the four of you who wish to be at the top can place yourself on the edges of this hole. Where? Which hole? <laughs> I believe I pulled you over, right? I don't see Did anything. No. No. Nope. Right. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. That hole. Okay. Right, which? Which hole? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm 13 years old. Oh. Okay. <sighs> okay. And in being ever so quiet, you do see as Cyvor tears the tomb door away. Snarling at you are you cut out there, Peter? I know because I made a really cool noise and it, I saw I heard the very it. first part of it. It sounded really good. Yeah. Pay for effort, fine. Oh. Cut out again. These things staring down at you, they're again acid or just very intense looking sort of spittle dropping out of their mouths and behind mm. them with a long bow trained on all of you. <gasps> the huntsman. Yes. That's delicious. Here we go. Here you go. All right, friends, roll it. Oh <gasps> my God, I rolled a one on my initiative. That's the worst initiative I've had all game. Um, you still okay. nearly beat me. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna put myself next to a line. I like how Jiswaldo and I almost rolled the exact same, and he rolled a nat one. <laughs> was like, he beat you. He yeah. beat you, and he rolled yeah, a nat no, one. He did. He did. <laughs> he beat me on a critical fail. How does that make you feel? You should journal about it. Beaten. <laughs> Absolutely beaten. All right, all right, all right. So in the line of fire, we have Cyvor, Elena, and... Jeswaldo? Claire, but yes. Uh, Claire and Jet, right, sorry. Got it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so you guys see where you're supposed to be on the map here, correct? Yes, I'm underneath um I'm underneath a Claire. Very good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh is everyone else uh has everyone else rolled initiative? I do not see everyone up here on the tracker. Uh Liz said she Liz rolled is... at twenty one. She chatted it okay. somewhere. And turn. She shouted it, it well. into the void. Oh, did you reinstall uh, Beyond 20, Liz? Uh-oh. You know I didn't. I forgot. <laughs> God damn it. It takes two seconds. Uh, no, I know. I'm the worst. I'll, I'll just go. <laughs> so hot. So... I will just have to trust you as <laughs> who is no, I, up, I, can see I cannot role. remember already. Uh, I believe everyone is on the initiative tracker now. So I can, I can see her role. So. Yeah, so Vlad, you are up. I believe you are below, still climbing up. You can go yeah. climb up and past your allies if you wish. Get up here. Do you guys see anything? As I'm just yes, like, yes, we see many things. Get up here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was the like climbing sound effect. <laughs> I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> up the rope I go. That's precisely up, up, up. it. Up, up, and you can up, up, use up, up, up. with difficult terrain moving through two allies. You can probably get just to the edge of the door uh, on the outside of the tomb with the entirety of your movement. Well, that's just where I want to be. Ooh, just right there. Shoot the oh, asshole God. with the bow! Shoot the asshole with the bow! <laughs> no shit. No shit, Claire. <laughs> Thanks. God. I know what I'm doing now. Um, <laughs> I will cast Hunter's Mark on the asshole with the bow and arrow. 
All right. Because that's what my commander wanted me to do. Yeah. Have to obey the commander. I'm going to do that. And third level. Mm hmm. Which means that he gets extra 1d6 damage, which I can't tell if it rolled. And then I'm going to fire my longbow twice at him. How dare he bring a bow against me with a bow? Nice! So 22 and then a crit. Hilarious. Do those hit? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Both will hit. <laughs> Does a crit hit? Okay, so the 22 does 13 plus the Hunter's Mark damage. Plus the 5, yep. Plus the 5, and then the, and then I think an additional 1d6 because I cast it at 3rd level. <clears throat> Jayus? Um, oh, yeah, it's not added it for what? some reason. I wonder why yeah, it, it didn't add that extra d6 I wonder why it roll. didn't do that. I'll well, throw so it, it in right now. Double check that that's a interesting. That that's an upcastable one. I'm it, not sure. I will link it to you in D twenty. Yeah, so please do. I shall uh, display at higher uh -huh. levels when you cast it third or fourth. It extends the concentration. Oh, I misread it. I think I think it should still get an extra D six per level. <laughs> <laughs> You, you can think that. I will. <laughs> so you got you can get an extra d6 by hitting with more attacks. Yeah, roll uh, it, roll it d6 you. again. Why? Because you you critted, so roll well, d6 again. She still has to roll the other damage. Uh, yeah, I she, haven't she, rolled she the crit has. roll yet. Yeah, 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 for that one, yeah. So the crit on the next one does six. Oh, wow. No, she has to roll two d6 for the next one. Yeah, she's done so, it already. Roll another d6. Oh, it's a, D, a five. Okay, I see. I see. I'm with you. I'm up to date. So six damage plus the so 24, a total of 37 points of damage, I believe. Yes. Was that good enough, Commander? 24. <laughs> oh, Commander, my good. Commander. Doing great. <laughs> You're about to get cooked. <laughs> that'll that'll do. Bye, guys. They kind damage. of pass through his um his form, but seem to. <laughs> You see wisps of essence kind of uh, exiting behind the sort of exit oh. wounds from his body. Um, it seems to weaken his form. But... It's 40, lead goes 42 lead. damage. 42? 42 damage. Gotcha. Missed the first Hunter's Mark. Cool. Excellent I got you guys. pair of strikes. I believe that's it. Your action economy is spent. Maris. So Maris is gonna hit. Wait. Okay. Also, where I can't find myself on the thingy. Um, you are not up there yet, technically. Um, I'll pull your right. thing up here. You, you, you guys aren't actually in this tomb to the side. You are below, kind of climbing the rope. Um, for okay. simplicity's sake, um, it will take your entire movement to climb the rest of the way up, and then take the next spot next to. Athelflaed, if you wish to not be squeezing in a space with your ally, if you, um, if if you move there, none of your allies will be able to use their full movement to get out unless they started their turn in the two. Nope, I'll just stay right where I am then. Um, can I see anyone except for the two people next to me? Can I see anything up there? You can see the sort of your um, four allies at the top. You cannot see Athelflaed, but you can see everyone else. Okay, so... Ugh. Hmm. Because I want to cast Bless, but I don't want Teresa to be the only one who doesn't get it. Yeah, the one right in front. Thanks. Uh, I, that's, I, that's why I don't want to cast it now. Um, okay. So... Well, shit. Well, though, to be fair, Teresa has already gone. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, well, to be fair, I'm going to cast it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Oh, my God. I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's going to oh. be rough here, guys. If we're Oopsie. all clenched up in here, things could get very bad very okay, quick. So Everybody I can, unclench. So I can see... Three up there, two beside me, correct? I guess. 
Is that I'm trying to? Th I think factual. Someone else is up there too. I thought, but maybe it's does, just the three of you. Does bless have on it? Does it say a creature you can see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Within okay. thirty feet. So yeah, that'd be all of it. You can see you can see two next to you and three above. That's correct. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna cast bless at fourth <laughs> level. No, fifth level. So I can go ahead and also include myself in the plus. I'm sorry, Teresa. I feel like a jerk. Um, but that's going to be my action. Uh, and yeah, that's it. That's my turn. Cool. Cool. I count that. Yay. All right. I am going to move my little gnomish shelf as far as I can go. I can go right about, where's 30 feet? Right about here. And I would like to cast my hand trip thorn whip and lash out with it with a whip. Bad dog! Oh, okay. okay. All right. I've seen you do this, so I gotta be able to do it. <laughs> uh, 15 is just what you need to hit. You could have done that from further back, just so you know. But if that's okay. what you want to be right in its face, you're welcome to. 18. She just got so excited and ran up and was like, bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You are right up in front of it then. Um, and the one directly in front of you, I'm assuming, takes 12 yes. All right. You rip through a bit of its hide, exposing a bit more bone beneath it. And it uh, kind of cries out more in rage than pain. And that's that's all I'm gonna do. 18. Clur. Um, I am going to let's see, let's see, let's see here. Um hmm. I will step forward to here. I will attack this fellow here. Okay. With my action. Um, where's my weapon? How's a 19? Mm -hmm. And have 11 slashing damage on my first hit. Coming in again. Uh, 23 for 10 slashing damage. Okay. And then, um, let's see here. I'm going to, uh, knowing that I will incur an attack of opportunity for doing so. I'm going to scoot to this point for cover. All right. It will take its attack of opportunity and bite at you 17 to hit. Nope. Very good. All right. Their turn. Time to burn things. <sighs> we'll have one move to here. I don't want to do this. Targets aren't arranged in a great way, but, um, you know, that's okay. Um, I have a couple easy... So I have one um, cone actually originating from here. So, first cone! Cyvor, Jeswaldo, and Akantha, please make a dexterity saving throw. Or not Akantha, excuse me, Appleflad. Do, I was really confused. Do Jeswaldo and I have cover from the tomb? Um. Uh, with that angle, yes, you can add a um, plus two to the save. Or is it an advantage? I can never remember. I got a twelve. Is that a deck save or breath weapon? Bye. If you're gonna give us part, uh, oh, if it's breath um, weapon. Alaflad, you have a plus four tier save. You are within my aura. Am I within the aura? Yes, yeah, I got it. Well, I got well, it. And everyone has a D four from the bless. Except um, those of uh, you two can get a plus two to your um, saving throws inside the tomb. Okay. And hmm. let's see, Alaflad, the aura of Claire will make you feel just a bit faster. Think of, um, looks think like the... you are going to all save, so that will be um, half of 23, so take 11 points of damage unless you're ridiculous like Jeswaldo. 
And, and, Cy and Cyvor. And Cyvor. Oh, you both have it. All right, then. Yeah. Just to so we just we both flame. jump into the hole, and I hang on to Cyvor as the flames go over, and he just flies us back up. Oh, the see, now, in my mind, we both leap up to the top of the tomb and, like, grab each other around the shoulders and, like, Phew, that was close. Yeah. yeah, okay, that works. <laughs> the next two are coming at uh, Macantha and... I went down, though. Cyvor! So both Akanta and Athelflaed, please make a pair of dexterity saving throws. A team. <laughs> a team. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna. Fifteen. Eat it, dogs. Uh, well, make but one then more, you... please. But she also uh, has plus you four. also have you have nineteen. Yeah. Akanta. Yeah. Did, did what she said. Nineteen. So I have a 24 and an 18. That's great. Uh, I need still need one more from Akanta. There yes. we go. Uh, they will all save. So half of 23 Ow. and 21. So 11 and 10. 21 total points of damage of the fire variety to you. <laughs> I'm fire-ish. I'm almost dead. Cool. <clears throat> this one will move forward. Um, you guys. look like the target. <laughs> Wait, who's almost dead? Miss Claire. Oh, of course. Yeah. As he kind of drops his bow to his side and uh, floats forward um, at a really dizzying speed and then reaches out, you feel um, his energy sort of just, it's almost less like a coldness coming at you and more like it feels like the warmth of your body is being sucked out towards his hand for it reaches for you. He That's hits weird. you with a 25. Oh God, that hits. <laughs> um. Wait. Please take. Wait, he gets he gets to go before everybody else. Oh, he. My bad. Are, uh, I was like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was just all <laughs> excited on my. Got excited. It's Alimus's turn though. Blow him up. <laughs> shoot him! Shoot him! Which one? The, big the him. <laughs> oh. Uh, the asshole in the back. The one, the one that's the by himself. Can yeah. Suck the life out of me. Oh, like a dementor. I'm imagining a very winded Alimus trying to climb this rope, just like. <laughs> <sighs> um. Okay, I Fire will. Ball. I will cast. What do I cast? Is the question. Uh, I will speak the words "animo flagulum" and cast Tasha's mind whip. On, oh my god, on him and the one in front of Claire. Okay. I need a. What does that do? On the oh. big guy and the, the one in front of Claire. Oh, I, clicked, I clicked fourth level. Sorry, that was the wrong one. I should have been second level. You get to double these because you're an enchantment wizard. That's fine. I do, yeah. So First should... intelligence save on the big guy is a six, and on the one next to Claire is an 11. Both failed. They both take 15 points of psychic damage. Did you get extra dice for casting it at nope. fourth level? No. Nope. So you meant eight. Yeah. Uh, casting it at fourth level just adds more people I can do to it. Oh. So I only wanted to do it at second level because I get two people. I'll honor your, I get it. I'll honor your first yeah. roll. So 15, yep. Um, and with that, I will post it in the thing for you. Uh, and it can't take a reaction until the end of your next turn. Moreover, on your next turn, you must choose to ever make a move, an action, or a bonus action. You only get one of the three. Oh, that's, that's excellent. Cool. That is super excellent. Anything else like on that. your turn? Um, is that all my movement to get up? Uh, you could move five feet forward if you wanted to. I will probably move to there to take cover from these two. If I can. Jesualdo. Ah, uh, yes. Um, would it be permissible for me to make an acrobatics check to leap over the uh, creature there in front of Claire and still have an action? In front of Claire. Um, go through an enemy space. Um... Sorry, you while, could. While we're waiting, sorry, I just forgot to say welcome to the Raiders. I sorry, I didn't oh, see wow. you come in. I was doing something. Um, thank you very much, R RPG, and welcome to your uh, 
hope you had a good stream so carry on guys sorry welcome welcome everyone um just while though um we let's see if you have either so you cannot move just straight through even with an acrobatics check another okay. creature's um space mm -hmm. you could try to duck in between and pass through a compass space and then move the corner through and potentially incur an op attack um that's the only way i see you getting through unless you can feel like you can climb a wall and go up around it i like going through a compass space okay so i leap out and i step to a compass space and i step to here and then i step to here I believe that the Hellhound that is in front of Claire has lost its reactions. It has, yes. Right, then I will attack the one that Akantha attacked, which I believe is this one here. Yes. All right, I will strike at it with the Luckblade Rapier. So this, one still have its... this one, you did pass through the range of this one as well. Oh, right, okay. Uh, but it bites you at a seven, so... It does not bite me. Ha! And I will slice at this one with a 22 hit, doing a total of 22 points of piercing damage. A screen full of dice. Indeed, a screen full of dice. With something between a um, a howl and a um, and almost like the grinding of stone, it, it lets out a fiery breath before it crumples onto the ground. Bad Excellent. dog. Um, and then I, I will turn and look at the huntsman and sort of hold out my sword and do a a mocking salute. And that <laughs> will be my turn. Very good. Savor. So, DM, uh, to Jeswaldo's questions, while I can't run up walls, I can fly. So could I take that path over the uh, the beast? Or do you still say nay? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. You there have... aren't any horses here. Literally every other sentence, I'm trying to figure out a pun from Ryan. <laughs> oh. These are dogs. Get your animals right. right. You can go above them. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter. You're like, please, God, stop. All right, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, 25. 30, 35 puts me there, uh, and I'm all... Oh, so... Oh. Uh, it is not... Um, the ceilings in here are 10 feet tall, so you will pass well, I will, so I will. So I will incur... Yeah, yeah, so I... Uh, one yes. attack. Who, who but from? that one doesn't who have from? a reaction, right? One's used it, oh, yeah, and the other one doesn't of, have it. All the ones oh, that so, are alive are yeah. So, no AoE? Well, nope. This one could, but um, it cannot, so... Ah. No, nope. ah. uh, you can get over it, you're fine. Huzzah! I ain't scared of no ghost. All right, so from here, uh, Cyborg's gonna go ahead and crack that whip. So he attacks one, two, two, two. I only heard one beep. There he goes. I see right. three. Oh, three. sorry, I got I got overzealous. So then the first two are a 24 and an 18 on our okay. ghost event. Just as a note, um, this is something I looked up. I was so. Admittedly, I haven't DM'd for a lot of monks at this high level. Go so when it. you're doing your multi-attack, in order to get your plus two armor class bonus, you have to do an unarmed strike as an action, as part of your attack action, not your yeah. bonus action. So you would have, yes, your bonus action strike is a different thing. The bonus action is strike is not part of the attack action. It God, specifies you when said. you take it as part of your attack action. Interesting. That is not how I interpreted that. Okay. And the reason okay. I think I think that that is rules intended. Sorry, uh, guys, but just because it part of that is using your blade to parry. So instead of striking with a weapon, you are readying the weapon and doing an unarmed strike and using the weapon to defend yourself and gain a bonus to your armor class. Does that make? I think. Does that make sense to you? Yes, I mean, I, uh, I think that's how it's supposed to work mechanically. It also then there's a lot of bonus action, you know, monk things you can do, and so it doesn't okay. leave it like completely so, open where you're always getting that plus two AC. So that's okay. like the trade-off. So. Okay, okay. So in order for me to get uh, for in order for me to get the plus two uh, from here on out, I have to make an unarmed strike within my initial two attacks. Correct, and you could also still make an offhand attack with your other weapon. 
Um, I believe they're both light for you. Uh, mm -hmm. So, but uh, you just wouldn't add, unless you have two weapon fighting, you would not add your ability modifier to the second. Excellent, one. excellent. Well, I definitely don't want to do that with this guy just yet. So, uh, so whip crack, whip crack. Uh, first damage, and then did you say the 18 hits? It does. Lovely. All right, then. So that's going to be uh, 18 uh, total damage, then. Magic, whippy, cracky damage. It's good uh, damage, and he takes the lashes. I'm Cyborg of the Hexbane Abbey. Eat it. All right. <laughs> and then uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, take the 35... 40, 45, and then back right up here to Giswaldo. Be like, my guy's kind of scary looking. And then that's me. Cool. Um, he will retaliate. He cannot move. He can. Do his fun thing. Well, he's not going to. <laughs> I <You> know, should. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Um, he's going to attack. Oh, this time only with a 16 at Cyvor. I don't believe that hits, correct? With the shot? 16, yeah, to hit. Did you fire something at me? His longbow has that he had. Um, he used a different... What? So... <laughs> oh, it says... Oh, man, I've been waiting to use this ability for so damn long. It says when I'm hit by a ranged attack. So technically, you didn't actually hit me. So He draws again and fires at a 20. Brilliant! So, uh, as he does that, I take my reaction to reduce that by 1d10 plus 12. So I'm going to roll that now. Uh, <laughs> so that's 10, so that's 22. What's the damage on that? 500. Um, it is coming out. Ooh. That's catch it. Catch it. <laughs> um, it is going to be a 13 points of damage. <laughs> Excellent. So he, he catches it and goes... Did you, did you lose something? And then he's gonna go ahead and uh, just cause I haven't fucking done it yet. He's gonna throw it right back at you. <laughs> uh, so uh, I've reduced, so when you reduce the damage to zero and have a free hand, you can spend one key point and make a ranged attack as with a monk weapon. You don't, so, do you have a free hand? Is your sword is your sword put away? I used only my whip. You did. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, using the dart attack, I'll throw it right back at you for f oh, plus. fourteen plus my D four for the bless, making it a seventeen. Does it his hit? Ar his armor seems to have been made of leather, so it does hit. Oh, yay! Well, that's, this is fine. All right, so then uh, roll damage for the dart and roll damage for the dart. Thank you. Oh, and that's uh, oh. eight piercing damage. It's a big dart. <laughs> <laughs> Foist it on your own patad! Yeah, and... Uh, Paton! <laughs> His uh, his armored leather seems to be even more ragged now, and this sort of tenderly black energy seems to be seeping out in all places. He's looking... Um, that is not how he intended for his turn to go. No, Which brings so us to Athelflaed. <laughs> um, let's see if I can do it again. So his hunter's mark. I'm going to... No, that's not a good idea. Uh, I had an idea and that I realized that was a stupid idea. So, scratch that idea. I'm just going to fire my two arrows at him again with my hunter's mark still active. I believe you got hit by all three. Oh, you're right. Shite. Just roll three concentration checks, please, first. I forget which one's... Is that Constitution saving throw. I don't wanna. Unfortunately, <laughs> these are plus four. They're still oh, really does bad. Get plus four. So um, two tens. With that, with the plus, with the plus four, you're able to concentrate through all of that. Um, Thanks, Saloon. Indeed. And also Claire. <laughs> So then, so then for my two longbows, it's a 24 and a 22. 
do those Are you things. attack? Who are you attacking? You are in melee range, so you'll either have to step back or make your attacks at disadvantage, in which case that those I first two rolls were your first. I was going to be firing at Stinky Cheese Man. The, okay. The guy that's not at melee, because the dogs right. were all at... But they are threatening you in melee range, so you have an enemy that close to you brings a disadvantage, like not that. firing at a close target. No. So whenever there's something within five feet of you... You've yeah. hit anyway. Don't they not have their reaction still? They haven't gone again. Oh, they don't. So just step back, well, you're fine. I don't know, would it? Yeah. I believe, okay. I do not believe this one is taken no, a reaction. No, I thought that this it was has. the one that tried oh, to that hit Jez Waldo. That was yeah. tried to bite Jez Waldo. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So just step back, you're fine. Okay, and then you well, make your hits. Alimus. Sup, dude? Um, Put my foot out <laughs> and she falls down the hole. Ah, bye guys! <laughs> Um, okay, so then does the 24 and the 22 for yeah, for yeah, absolutely animal abuser. Man, Sorry to delay there. it so far, so go ahead and roll <laughs> that and roll your 2d6 and then, as like, well. Two D6s. So 26 26, he is looking awfully hurt. <laughs> yes. Wait. Hooray. So let's, I'll no, as that combo. arrow, um, Good job. Oh. so I add the five, as that arrow pierces through him, you see the armor just kind of floating up in the air, almost like, um, like burnt uh, pieces of newspaper coming off of a fire. They just kind of float huh? and become little cinders in the tendrils of darkness in his form. <sighs> just fades to nothing. 18. And the two remaining hellhounds howl in anger. Unless you, I do not believe you have a bonus action to take, unless I'm wrong. Which I don't want to. Which brings us to Maris. Okay, so can I take the rest of my, can I take my movement and climb up? You may. Dope. So I'm going to climb on up. And I'm um, gonna... It will take just about 10 feet of your movement to climb the rest of the way up as all your allies are gone. Okay. Um, doop a doop beep boop bop. Um, so I would end up like, I could end up behind Apple, right? Yep. Great. So I'm going to cast Cure Wounds <laughs> at fourth level for Apple Flat <laughs> and say that I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I have had a day, you guys. I'm sorry, I forgot. Don't be that sorry. I, it's all good. I you am. Are all good. I am sorry though. That's. I'm, I'm annoyed with myself. But welcome to the okay. new raid. Uh, Zang. Uh, new raid. What? Max. So much raiding. Zang uh, Max uh, workshop. Uh, Hope you had a good stream. Welcome, guys. Yeah, welcome. All, all right. right. So you get 16 points of damage or damage. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Bang, got him. Uh, Maris 16, kills Athelflaed. <laughs> 16 points of healing. Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, Nobody saw wanted, it. No one would have known. Yeah, man. I just wanted to be Strahd the one to do it. says hello. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. The that's reigns exactly of Barovia. Um, yeah, so great. That's that's my jam. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Which brings us to Akantha. So... Since I have unwittingly put myself in danger, I'm gonna move! Take these things out so they don't cook us again. Let's see, I can go 25 feet, which is up here, and then I'm gonna attack with my thorn whip, because it goes 30 feet. It goes many feet, indeed. More feet than you can go. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Go ahead and roll the Wow, it's <laughs> true. Little, little. Look, coming in there a little hot there. Uh, like, Weird flex, but okay. Is that passive <laughs> or just aggressive? She, she can't run as long as her thorn whip range. I don't know. That's not. Hey, it's like neither can Athelflaed. That's not a big deal. She can't <laughs> run. Picking on small years. people. Oh, I hit it with a yeah. yeah. You've got D4, bless. Let's D4 there. Kiddo. I have a bless, so I get to add with three more. D4. 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 Yes. Roll that D4 bless. 
Roll that d4. Oh. Roll Unfortunately, it. even with the bless, the um, hound <laughs> ducks out of the way of the thorn whip, which just cracks into the side of the tomb behind it. Oh. Anything else for you? She'll just stomp real mad Out. and just wait for next turn. <laughs> Pouting is a free action. All right, Claire, you're up. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, take a couple slashes at the uh, fellow in front of me. Uh, that's a crit. Um, oh. Oh. So uh, oh let's see, 20, 20 damage on him. How's he looking? 20 damage, a mighty strike. No smites today, kiddos. That's okay. Saving that shit for later. Yeah. Is he still up? It's like everyone just saw a firework go up in the air and everyone went, <gasps> <laughs> Nothing. And then I'm the controlling myself. <laughs> I'm exercising oh, self No, no, no. You, 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 it's the smite thing to do. <laughs> um, it, is it still up? Yes. Okay, I will slash at it again. Maybe. Yes. For another 10 damage. Exactly what you needed to. Huzzah! Aha! And, um... I am going to... Hmm. Where do I want to be in this moment? I'm going to move myself here and get all these guys in my aura. Interesting wrap around the aura. <laughs> but I guess Do it works. Doesn't say nothing about walls. <laughs> you just have to be able to uh, be awake. Yep. <laughs> cool. Uh, anything else for you? I sense Claire. Oh, man, she? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I smell. I smell apple pie. <laughs> you sense Claire. You hear her outside the tomb. <laughs> clang, 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 clang. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of that clanking is oddly comforting. Yes. <laughs> the, the creature clank. seems to listen intently to the sound of the clanking and you, and as its eyes follow you, it seems to settle upon the group which has become tightly grouped within the tomb. And as if, as if its only purpose in its demonic life is to cause pain, it moves directly to the door and rolls a d6 to see if it can do its thing. Because I can't just do it whenever I feel like. Right. <laughs> and it just bites a Linus. <laughs> uh, 22, uh, 22 hit a Linus. Yeah, whatever. All right. <laughs> I, I could cast shield, but. Kitty. All right, it hits. And you will take um, uh, eight points of piercing. And 12 points of fire damage. Jesus. Eight and 12, yeah? <laughs> yep. Okay. That shield looking pretty good now there. <laughs> that is, yeah. Oh, that's all, well, my, I miss... all my temporary hit points gone. I forgot we even had those. I yield to the honorable wizard. And five damage. <laughs> From... Um, I just want to hit it with a fireball, but... Do it. Do he not. would be not do anything. You would not be happy with the results. Yeah. Oh, is it that bad? You'd probably kill Athelflaed before you killed it. Yep. Can oh. confirm. Don't do that. <laughs> I'll just hit it with a ray of frost. Da, da, da. Come on. Pack Dirty. made it disadvantage because of its proximity. A oh, range spell attack does that as well, does it? Yep, any ranged attack. Ranged attack, yeah. Oh, oh crap. 18 oh. plus 4. I think you're, you're fine, Alimus. <laughs> 19 cold damage. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's a Good. big old ray. Look at these level 3 cantrips coming through again. Mm. All right. Yes. The icy um, bolt blasts off its flesh, and it looks huh? pretty damaged. Jeswaldo, up to you. Bring it on, what man. Can you do? I will uh, step towards it and... Just as I w am walking towards Claire, looking her dead in the face, saying, Are you all right? And I'm just going to stab it without even looking. 
Are you okay? <laughs> not really, not really looking, just for flavor. <laughs> So even if I had been a disadvantage, it would have been 22 for gotcha. a total of 28 points of piercing damage. Oh, that was delicious. As you pierce it directly through the spine, severing whatever kind of, mm -hmm. um, you know, demonic spinal column was there and it falls limp. Combat is over. Cyborg says, yeah. <laughs> so, I, you hear me about, laughing from around the corner. <laughs> shall we look into these brides or leave well enough alone and go back to what we were doing? Uh, Maybe we should just leave them be. I would like to I, cast Goodberry. <laughs> just, just consume a mouthful of this. Oh. Uh, um, yeah. What, what happened to? caused this creature to appear this the man with his dogs the bride yeah, we're... summoned him the... but did they just see you and were like hey go get him or did you like fucking provoke them i stayed a while chatted he provoked okay. they told me yeah. to leave <laughs> so, totally provoked <laughs> yeah. yeah okay that could be um, just provoking we should probably just leave well enough alone at this point um so are we are we still trying to get into the brother's tomb? Because we It's could... probably worth a shot. We this could is send... a good point to say that. Let's not split up. Yes. Oh that's that's legit. Let's yeah, let's not do that. And that's uh, a flat. Yep. Are we invoking the that like berry on my face? Yep. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, I'm not fine, going to fine. invoke the ten foot rule, but I'm going to gently remind you that the spirit of the rule exists. <laughs> yep. Also, yep. we have some kind of sexy rule, right? Because <laughs> we got married. No, yeah, I, thirty I, I have definitely been paying attention to the sexy rule, so I. Uh... <laughs> I am definitely observing that. Um, 30 but, feet, you two, 30 feet. So, okay. um... We'll leave some room for Jesus. <laughs> How much room does so Jesus balloon. need? Yeah, I, <laughs> all the space. I, as I recall, the problem was not being able to open the, uh, the portcullis. And, uh, Jesualdo turns to Akanta and says, Can you turn into something very strong? Yeah, I can. What do you want me to turn into? I can turn into... I could, I could be an ox, a cow, a bat, a, a frog. I could be a lizard. I could be a snake. I could be an elemental. I could be. Ooh, ooh, um... ooh, 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 ooh. If she elemental. Oh, which one? There's four. Earth? Question mark. Art? Wouldn't an air uh, earth. get a fruit again? Earth? earth would, but be the strongest, right? Yeah. She could open, and we could all go in. I could probably just punch it. Just go. I think you should try to open it as an earth elemental. Okay. And she will use... Now, just as a quick reminder, it does use up all of my wild shape until my next rest, so... But how long, you... You... how long can you... How long can you... Five If it gets us the sword, then I say it's worth it. Okay. Plus, well, so hopefully we're not going to be in this castle longer than five hours. We are. You turn into... Mm. An elemental? We could be here for a while. Before, so she, does, before she does, before she does, before she does. Uh, DM. Before she does. Obviously yes. the gate. Is it classed as a loose item? Sorry, the what? Is the gate classed as a loose item, yeah? Could be lifted. Oh. That's not an item. item, no. I was like, morally loose? Like, okay. I mean, That's the it, sort of thing you would have to f figure out wait, by doing the, I, I, It's <laughs> like you're... It depends on the context of the spell because, you know, a, a chest is an object, a, a door is, but if you say, well, I can just lift this object, the door is an object, so the house comes with it, right? Like, you know, it's, I, I, I need to know what the context is before ruling. Can we determine how much these would weigh? They're, we know they're made of adamantium. Uh, reinforced or something like that, yes. Um, can we determine uh, how much they weigh? How? Intelligence? Yes, let me do that math in my head right now. 
with my really heavy. I'm about how right. negative so one intelligence. <laughs> a lot. But you're so pretty. I see where you're. I see what you're getting at. Um, <laughs> it's okay if you're not smart. Yeah, I know. It's fine. It but, would. But she is smart. Uh, let's I, see. Let me let me check. I I I see where you're getting at here. Um, <laughs> I got a lot of grief over my maths as a kid. Probably. Oh. Commander was not happy with me. Let's see if it's if that's. I'm just it's I'm just doing math, math based on the um, yeah. <laughs> the um, level of the. Uh, you seem really good at your division. Probably right? about a thousand pounds, I'd say. Okay, oh, so it would work. Pounds. Yeah, yeah. I could lift five hundred. It comes a little more naturally. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then you yeah. all Maybe of your fractions. Better. Yeah, I I practice at any rate, my fractions. This, this needs to happen quickly, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Turn, turn. Give me a turn. So, are we are we, are we taking a conth of a granite, or uh, how are we doing this? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna quit and go back home, guys. Bye. Wow. That deserves the first air horn of the night. Do you turn <laughs> into an earth <laughs> elemental? <laughs> yes. All right, so I am turning into yes. an earth elemental that looks strangely snake-like. Snake elemental. I don't have one to look exactly like that, but you turn That'd into be a slate elemental. Boom. <laughs> Boom. With a big Listen old elemental. Oh my god. Rock it, looks a, it looks a bit more gorilla, but um No, it looks like no, the rock right. eater or the rock biter. Oh god, what's it does that? look like rock biter. <gasps> Alright. Okay, Can you lift this? Uh, we should grant her guidance, and by we I mean uh Maris. Hell yeah, I got you. <laughs> Cypher walks up and goes, I guide you. <laughs> Is that how this works? <laughs> One of your nightly uh, so close, Cyborg. <laughs> so close. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to journaling. Oh, yeah, go ahead. yeah, yeah. Do you write poetry, Cyborg? Everybody come close to where we are, by the way. Oh. You sure he's squire? I mean, I can... Bring y'all beautiful tokens. More of a page. Skip all okay. the way up to the I right next to the rock by the very funny alarmist. All right, That's that cutie little guidance. All right, guidance is cast. You feel prepared. You feel strong. Are you going to try to lift the bars? Yes, I will right. attempt to lift the bars. I need a strength check. Awesome. That is. Um, Can anyone could help one up? of us? Could one of us try to help? Yeah. Also lend our weight. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. <laughs> I don't need any help, thank Just you. tries to help anyway. <laughs> what did she roll, that my friend? That was amazing. Got a critical. Um, no. right, roll, roll, so your, roll your uh, guidance, just in case. Okay, yeah. so we're, still up? We're, we're currently standing at a critical 25. But Yeah, would Bless still be up? Or does the bless, bless would end? not affect yeah, it. Yeah, so uh, okay. I, I have a question. <laughs> what is your question? Liz. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Uh, so does bless go away when it like we exit initiative or so it, it lasts as long a as minute? I'm but you guys, you guys talked for kind of the rest uh, of the direction. So you had probably <laughs> you know thirty more seconds after the combat mm -hmm, ended. Mm -hmm. so. Kind of what enough, I was going for, enough. but uh, titties. Okay, <laughs> but uh, hey, bless 20, wouldn't have affected good. it anyway good. because it is not it's an true. attack roller. This is true. So. All right. So, if, um, and you see this earth elemental go forward, and Jade, you're thinking levitate can do up to 500 pounds. I can't imagine. And it, she just grabs hold of them really low. And, ah, it just scrapes up to the top. DC 25 strength check succeeded. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, ah, man! I love this. Yeah. Sleep counter! That'll work. Yeah. yeah that'll work. They don't look like they're coming down then. Uh, nope. Hold no, them. they're up. They do not. Well, shall we? All right. Let's go check this out. On guard, everyone. Hey, I going to be in there. May I make a uh, perception or an investigation check to see if there's anything on these stairs that would be dangerous? Oh, what about the... Does the idea. wand thing work on traps? Or is it just... 
uh, secrets. It's traps and secrets. Traps and secrets. Well, let me do traps my thing secrets. first. Yeah. See how I roll. <laughs> uh, what do you say, Peter? You uh, do your thing, baby. Perception or investigation? See how he rolls. Uh, you can. Uh, you know. You can do either. Um, I will do investigation as well. Eleven. Good job. You're doing great. The stairs seem clear. The walls. Doing amazing, babe. Shoot, you forgot to look at the walls with the eleven. No, just <laughs> <laughs> it 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 seems normal. normal. Twenty nine. Are you sure, Jesuardo? Uh, hey, I'm sure if you're sure. Natural Jade, 20. it looks perfect. The passageway into these into this part of the tomb looks perfectly mundane. Watch that step there. It's a different color, but you're fine. I don't I don't step on that step. <laughs> I'm going to stealth into the room, if I may. Okay. Uh, that's I really to want to follow after. 23. <laughs> but I know I'd fuck it up. He moves very <laughs> quietly forward. I'm like, wait I'm for going me. To, I'm go actually, I'm going to take a non, a non linear path towards it. <laughs> As you move to about there, something catches your eye. As just to your left, some sort of protrusion comes from the wall. Gross. And you look and you see a, protrusion? a lever. A protrusion, you say? A lever? You pull of it? what kind of nature? A <laughs> lever? I hardly know her. Uh, <laughs> would, would I, based, based on where the lever is, would I assume that this probably controls the portcullis? <laughs> yes. Or, or, or did. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to huh, look at it and then look back and say, I think it's all right. Let's move quickly. All right. Get in so here, Claire. I'll head in. All right, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Blind. Sorry, I have my dinner and delivered. I, I have to follow because that's the rule. All right. Mm -hmm. so I, have I, look, I look at uh, Hathoflad knowingly like, uh -huh. All right. Um, let's, <laughs> I mean, we could let Rockantha do the honors of opening the tomb here. Oh, yeah, smash let's, the let's, let's use a little bit more care. Can I use my investigation to search the room? You know, my natural yeah, twenty. Yeah, we should have a road. have a peek around here. Claire, can you um, can you sense the the sword, or does it like? That's not something within my purview, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Well, on, only room, uh, undead and evil creatures and shit like that. The the stone in the room is gleaming and clean, mm -hmm. um, reflecting off any light that you guys bring with you. The marble statues, the two angels, and then the handsome chiseled man in the center um, are remarkable likenesses. Um, just in incredible works of uh, lifelike art. But besides those and the marble sarcophagus itself, nothing of interest. Oh. Well, I suppose only Rakanta is strong enough to have a hope of taking this off gently. Does it look like it's been removed recently? Um, no. It seems quite, quite sealed, and as you run your hand across, the seam is perfectly flush from the lid of the sarcophagus to the sort of body of it. Unless he's got any magical means of getting in there. I mean, we've seen him walk through walls, so... True. He definitely has magical means. Let's take care of this quickly, whatever we do. Yes, yeah. No, no, We're no. already in here. Let's do it. Um, Akanta? <clears throat> Smash? Right. Can you gently lift the um, cover off this tomb? Smash! I don't know. <laughs> she was going to... Gentle <laughs> smash. <laughs> you see her stop mid Oog. and back up and then try to gently take the lid off. Strength check, I would assume. That's like a little, uh, so yeah, you start to move it and lift, and it doesn't seem to want to move. Do it again. So, yes, then you need to make a strength check. But try harder this time. Go ahead. Hey, now. A team. Okay. Um, okay, well, that wasn't very nice. Don't tell me to try harder. You suck. You suck! You suck! It's a I just got one. married! <laughs> okay! You'd be nice to me! Jeez! Oh my god! Bride Z? 
Godzilla. Duh. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt? Yeah, Maris is like the most high maintenance oh, bride. Man. Sorry, Chow, you cut out there. What was that? Um, she are you my dog mad? Are you are you neutral good? <laughs> yeah, uh, I believe I believe she is. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. Why, oh, DM? So you? yes, you fail um, to lift it, but um, suffer no other effects. She's well, I mean, Maris, do you want to give it a shot? You're also pretty strong. I'll give you yeah. a hand. Can yeah, we, I could lend uh, a hand. Can I? Can I help? What's sure? So can sure. we grant? One of us will grant Maris assistance. I'm gonna I go attempt then. Stand here and try and see if anything is creeping up on us. I was All like, I'm righty. gonna scoot back and Maris chill with Rockantha. Like, she's like warming up her muscles. She's yeah. definitely like pulling up her sleeves. She's ready to get in there. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what is your alignment? Wait, 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 for Maris? <laughs> I was like, and, and I'm just going to sit in there. Like, wait, people so can't see the rolls, but it's another hold natural on, one. Hold yeah. Hold so we, we've we gone the, from a six my, to a unfortunately, four. Unfortunately, when we have the heart me. rotating, we can't see the rolls, so we have to call this, them out. But people, if but. someone was. <laughs> Helping me? <laughs> Does that? So it's <laughs> advantage. Someone's helping me, so I yeah. can. Roll yeah. So this. please, God, roll, like, roll so another first one. Attempt was like okay, that, she's I'm like, okay, okay I'm nervous. Right. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Sorry, guys. And then she rolls a fourteen. I roll. Gotcha. A what is your alignment, Maris? My alignment is chaotic good. Yeah. You struggle, struggle, struggle against it, but the stone is just too heavy, and then you try to push it just to slide it off the top, but it doesn't budge for you. You suffer no other effects. Ah, well, this is embarrassing. Maris yes. And... Yes, it is. <laughs> it's just while it turns to Claire. Well, what do you think? I will give it a shot. Not going to work, but that's all right. Um, you can anyone help? help me? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Fuck me. We are still rocking out sixes, ladies and gentlemen. A double Where, six for that advantage. As you approach it, you put your hands on the coffin and summon your strength. And your foot kind of slips behind you just uh -huh. before you push. And you're yeah. like, there's no way to get leverage. But the lid slides as if made Ooh. simply of balsa wood. Huh. With not Nicely. even a not even a um, intense grinding sound or anything. It just shh. Way to go, Commander. And then kind of falls down to the side. Uh, you're welcome for loosening that up. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What what the fuck is inside? Inside is a man that you all recognize. No worst nightmare. Looks very, very similar to Strahd. The same long, flowing black hair. Curled at his shoulders, but his face is a bit fuller, a bit rounder, and... Even in death, it seems relaxed. He's pale, but the skin is perfectly preserved. It looks like there is the form of Sergei von Zarovich, who have, you have seen before, simply sleeping in repose here. You can tell there are fine clothes as a silk shirt kind of ruffles at the top of his, um, just under his neck and um, the cuffs extend over a jeweled finger. And, um, but on top of all of that is an immaculate gleaming set of plate armor. Excuse me, what? <laughs> plate says what? An immaculate gleaming set of plate armor. Would only fit a half in though. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, it only fits a half <laughs> Same height as a halfling. It's not going to be glamoured armor again, is it? I, looked, uh... I was so triggered by that last time. <laughs> Would you no, like me to prepare uh... a spell, Commander? Yeah. I'll start casting. I don't. Cyborg, I think you're going to get to do a squirely duty here in a moment. Oh, excellent! 
also, do we, <laughs> do we want to talk to him or I... talk to him? So, uh, talk okay. to dead now. people. Yeah. We... Okay. Wait, I might have to like since we're here. Oh, burn no, the corpse no, or something? No. The... the honor. For... <laughs> <laughs> we're not. <laughs> we're not here oh. to make your dinner. Right, people wear armor. That's a thing people do. I sorry. Oh uh, how long would this take? I look at Claire. Uh, I well, Elimus is casting identify, right? Elimus has reached down and has hand, has his hand on the armor now. Okay. Um, to chant a spell. How long does it take to doff armor? <laughs> An action. And you know, in that nope. time, we could have a chat. We could uh, talk to Sergey. It depends on, you know, how good your squire is at helping you get dressed in your plate armor. Okay, so Commander, look, full disclosure, I, I've never worn armor. I don't wear okay. armor. This is going to take so, a while. So, okay. I'm, but I'm fully committed. I got this. Are you okay. comfortable undressing a woman, Saibo? Have you done that before? Oh, yeah. No, totally. That's fine. I have clothes on under my armor, you dipshit. <laughs> oh, carry on. <laughs> The monks I was concerned too. Cyborg. Claire, it Cyborg. you have plate on right now, right? Yeah, I do. It typically takes about 10 minutes to get into it in the morning. Will I get help? Will it be reduced if what? I have help? Um, No, because you are really good at putting on your armor. It's just Fine. like other people I will probably take slow the you time <laughs> that Elimus is using to cast to duff my armor. Okay. Uh, that, takes, the meantime, that takes half as much time. So. In the meantime, I will uh, I will help explain to Cyvor the various pieces of armor, how they work, how they interlock. Right. I have a, quite a large pauldron on right. my one arm. Um, pauldron, which right. connects down into the... the pauldron, bracer, brace, yeah. bracer, and then bracer gauntlet. Gauntlet, and then... Is it all buckles and straps, or do you tie it? There are a few hooks... Here Oops. and there, but mostly yes, buckles and straps. Are, are you taking notes? Of course. <laughs> sort of demonstrate on my arm. It's actually the arm is the trickiest part. Right. So just look at this. Yeah. So in all seriousness, <laughs> around the do, around, we, do you do you want to cast <laughs> um cast uh, what you call it on Sergey? Greaves. Greaves. Uh, I just if it's gonna be worth it to talk to him. That's something that we can do, or I can save the spell slot. Save why, it. Why? Yeah. Why? Then let's save it. Don't we know everything already about him? I mean, it might be fun to just like chitty chat, but <laughs> just gab, just talk it's about fun to talk with the dead. <laughs> I'm glad the conversation it... might be a little stiff, but all right. <laughs> Would it even work here? His soul is gone, isn't it? I mean, well, speak well, with dead doesn't you, talk to the soul. You, yeah, yeah, you okay. know that it is basically. Um, the calling back maybe the memory of the body. Mm. So oh, it's, yes, it's yes, more yes. like the body responding than the actual soul. It's not. Also, also not to totally lose the point, but do we see the sword at all? Yeah, I, I don't see anything, unfortunately. Which at least Peter has not described anything. <laughs> Crap weasel. Just Meanwhile, really <laughs> big thank you to MCR Music Three for three hundred bits. Oh, Yay. Yay. that is giving one of the players or the DM a D6 inspiration that has to be used tonight. So, guys, if you want to roll your D20s, roll whoever gets do, highest, do. Hopefully, those strength rolls got rid of a. Oh Please no, do Claire! An inspiration. No. Oh, Claire! Okay. I'm getting rid of it now. It's fine. Oh, looks the, oh, okay. looks Ooh, like it. oh my second. God! A Canther comes in with a natural ah. 20 at the end. You guys walked it right up. Yeah. Teresa thought she had it in a bag with a 19. People, but, um, that was... Thank you very much, MCR Music. Much appreciated. Yay! Akantha, you get a D6 for the, night, for the night. Has to be used tonight. Thank you. All right. So, the time passes. Armor is removed. Mm -hmm. and we're spend... attacked. We're attacked right in the middle of when Claire has her armor off, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. Don't. Tempt him. <laughs> it is mostly quiet. And you. It's Claire's removed her armor. It takes five more minutes, and Elimus, your spell um, finishes. Right before. Um, or at, during those five minutes where Elimus is finishing his spell, but I don't have my armor on, mm -hmm. I start walking around the room like, guys, I can still. <laughs> Wait, I want to I roll a stealth roll. <laughs> 
All right, so the first one, because it... Haha, uh-huh, I rolled a 17! <laughs> Claire's like, watch this. Hides behind a statue. <laughs> wow, I had no idea where you were. Oh, shut up, please, Waldo, give me this. Like, everybody in the party's just kind of watching her go... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got a passive of 17. I'm just watching her while I'm casting my spell. Maris I is genuinely like... very supportive. She's like, you're doing great. <laughs> God, yes, queen! Elimus, you determine this. Plus two <laughs> plus two plate mama. armor. Plus two plate armor. Damn. Wow. Oh my god, AC. I explain it. It's an extremely powerful item. All right. And I step Get away. Get shit on. Worth it. I, I step I away. say a little prayer to Sergey. <laughs> say a little prayer for you. Say a little prayer to Saloon. And do you guys strip the corpse of his Ooh. burial armor? I yeah. Clearly. No. Oh. I do not. Oh. I don't have hands. I'm in like giant elemental snake <laughs> form, so she would smash. Like, oh wait. That this is gonna be the time. Wagon. This is gonna be the time where shit hits the fan. Well, so. So if we uh send someone. Just just going to say the last time I removed something from a tomb, I got cursed. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. wait, I do you remember that? Clearly. You could open the tomb, though, right? Like it. I could. So maybe that was a little weird. Only after I loosened it, though. Like yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. only after she loosened it. Okay, I <laughs> will reach in rock. and remove the first piece. Can we ask him if we can take it? And I sort of murmur a small little apology and say, "If you can hear me, which you probably can't because I think you're gone, but if you can." know that we're trying to do some good here. And I take off the gauntlet. Okay. Gauntlet comes, the hand, somehow not rigor mortis, just kind of falls loose. The hand is kind of, you know, unnaturally bent and just hanging at the side as it flops down. You see that while, when he was laid in repose, they very carefully arrayed, arranged the frills of the shirt and stuff around his cuffs. But as you start to remove it, you see that the clothes underneath are in a bit of a disarray as they would be under armor. So, but first one comes off. And All right, I will continue to gone. remove parts and add them to me as I go. As she removes parts of his armor, I replace it with parts of her old armor and then kind of look to Claire and be like, seems fair, right? Sure. Okay. I, what uh... are the symbols of your, uh, anything on your old armor? Claire, or did you have it's, it made here? Uh, no, it's it's pretty plain. The only symbology that I had was on my shield. It's been repainted. Damn, I'm going to hard cast a tech magic. Okay. Um, you uh, send it out. There is, again, slight abjuration magic as part of the uh, portcullis and the items you recognize around you and then the armor. That's it. Nothing else. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and slowly but surely you can replace your armor with his you are very much aware of what it feels like to handle his limp body kind of you have to kind of clasp the cuirass around his chest and um, all these other things and nothing is um, uh, nothing's easy his head lolls back and forth to the side and his mouth open his eyes loll open you can see that these still moist eyes dead staring up during this whole process it feels unsettling and after five minutes five to ten minutes you have removed him of his armor and placed it upon your own body just out of curiosity dm is there evidence still visible of how he died um are you looking so like i yeah cyborg would have definitely checked to see if he was like because we this is the guy who was decapitated right right no uh not that i can mm-hmm. recall no, that was no. but do do look because okay just waddle's player make... just waddle's player wants to know could i make a medicine <laughs> check uh, sure. Medi- medicine or investigation would be fine. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot behind Rock Kantha while you guys are doing all that. 
find, you know, either one's fine. Um, it's <laughs> not quite like diagnosing a sickness. So. Yikes. Uh, with a 10, full. Uh -huh. uh, so the question is, do yeah. you remove his uh, clothing to look? Ah, uh, I, uh, I'm a, th uh, <laughs> I'm a uh, thorough physician. So I just Hell do a little yes, peek poo a little peek poo <laughs> Um, wow. If you are not removing the clothing, you're just kind of looking and looking under. You don't see anything. That's exactly what's. Then I rip off his shirt. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> you just got married. Absolute grave robbers. Um, <laughs> I did apologize. Did I? Was there another roll besides Maris's ten? Oh yeah, another. Yeah, Cyborg's there was four. a four. Yeah. <laughs> Cyborg was like, ew, 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 ew. Like what? I more says. So it has skin on it. Like, exactly. No signs yeah. of no signs of uh, of fatal trauma on his knuckles. No. Nope. Why is it bone? Why is it bone? Right. <laughs> it's it should just be bone. Corpse uh, And I, I'm adult. not. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Where shall we go <laughs> next? Uh, head our way to the uh, teleportation room, since right. we have no idea where the sword would be elsewhere. I don't elsewhere. suppose there's any point in being stealthy. I look at Akanta. <laughs> no. Although you can point out there were traps in the hallway, I believe. You know where they are, correct? I do, yes. I will go and take care of that. Should I come with you? Uh, please. Okay. You have earth light, um, so I could like. I am now, for the record, sitting at a beautiful AC 24. Uh, <gasps> makes me so happy. Welcome. I know, you've been up there for a while, but it's okay. Not, I can join the club. Hot damn. Wait. Wait, how do you get a twenty-four AC? But twenty-three. But uh, with okay. my um, with my reaction, I can make that twenty-seven. Uh -huh. uh, I can make it a twenty-four. Um, I we all to... just call out what we can make our ACs right now. I'm like seventeen. <laughs> Twenty-one. And then Peter reduces them all by ten. <laughs> a I million. Like to, Zero. I would like to uh, um, forty. AC forty. Deactivate this trap, if I may. Um, okay. Are you actively 40? Um, you've done it multiple times, and it is not a hard DC, so just it is deactivated. Yeah, oh. plus thirteen. You you um, ye cannot fail. <laughs> All right. Um, and now I'm planning to sneak ahead, Maris. Do you want to come with me? Yes, 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 yes. I've been practicing my sneaking. Oh my god. All right, I okay. have faith. <laughs> I just see. Peter. I know. I'm just, life. you know, inspired by the power of love. Are you granting assistance, Josaldo? Can I stealth while I grant assistance? Probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to stealth and hopefully roll high enough to offset whatever Maris rolls. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now wait a second. Sometimes couples compliment each other, and sometimes yeah. they just hopefully offset each other. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah. laughs> the group check of two. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a about. Yeah. Just Waldo disappears <laughs> with a twenty-nine. Come on. That offset. Y'all catch up with your tokens. Come on, Maris. Come Maris, on, Maris. go five. <laughs> no way. Yep. Can, yes, he will you allow a? <laughs> So, Maris, Maris, Where'd you get the, whole, the, whole, the whole point of being quiet is to not, like, say anything. Jesse. She's, like, trying to make her footsteps quiet, but also hanging onto the wall and the edge of her gauntlet that is just <laughs> scraping against the wall. <laughs> okay, all right. I I'm, I'm oh, you are amazing. It was perfect. It was really, truly perfect. Abort, 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 abort. I love who's, you. Who's Maris talking to? I love you too. Okay. I'm going to go up ahead while she can't see me. And I'm going to. Since his presence well, has left. No, my right out of this conversation. <laughs> I'm like, where'd he go? I want to listen at this door if I may. Oh, sure. Present Where's my husband? <laughs> exactly. 12. Jesus. I hear nothing on the other side. I will open the door. Maris hears the door and open. See the familiar brazier room. Brass room. I go over here. So what was it? And I go. Brazier. <laughs> brazier room. All right. I'll we'll start uh, clopping so, forward. Yeah, when I. Wait. So I also. Ah, ah, I have to stay within. I have to stay within a certain so, range. So 
if, if anyone uh, doesn't remember what the episode when they first encountered this, this room is um, about 30 feet square and there is this large um, stone brazier burning fiercely in the center of the room. There's this white flame, but as they discovered before, it has no heat. And then around it are um, seven stones of different colors. There is also an hourglass hanging above it with all of the sand stuck up at the top. Yeah, the guy's on screen. Okay, good. And then um, written around the lip of the uh, brazier itself is a verse in common that says, cast a stone into the fire, violet leads to the mountain spire, orange to the castle's peak, red if lore is what you seek, green to where the coffins hide, indigo to the master's bride, blue to ancient magic's womb, yellow to the master's tomb. Green, yeah, guys? Yeah. Oh. Uh, no. Not. Haven't we done that before? <laughs> so maybe it's Ancient Magic's Womb. Or at Castle's Peak? Oh, Castle's Peak. Hmm. Master's Tomb. Yellow to the Master's Tomb, isn't it? We definitely master's want to Tomb is where we, we... We want to go to the peak. The Castle's Peak. It can't... How do we know that it's there, though? Remember, when we were below, we heard it above us, so it would stand to reason that going high... There is... are several levels above us, though. Correct, correct. Well, my idea was to get as high as we could and then go down. But... Plus, having been buried in this castle, which was fun... Well, uh... do we have any thought as to what else Ancient Magic's womb could be? Amber Temple. I think Temple. that that is um, yeah. or, uh, Baba uh, the mountain spire. Baba lasagna. Baba lasagna. Oh, Baba lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, given that Green took us to the coffins. Yes. In. Green took us to Valaki. Green took us to the coffins of Valaki. I think that uh, Violet will take us to the coffins in the Amber Temple. Right. Well, because we had run into what's his face, Rah, Rahadin, Rahadin. Got another raid. At, Rahadin. Uh, Rahadin. That's three, ra three raids wow. tonight. All the wow. RPGs. All the RPGs. Greetings, Thank you very friends. much for the raid and welcome, guys. Hi oh, guys. Oh, and welcome. Welcome. They are deciding what type of stone to cast into a fire. I am going to say <laughs> to teleport somewhere. I am going to say uh, I, I say Castle's Peak. And I, I don't think you're going to be able to convince me otherwise. But I'm not going to insist that that's what we do. Okay. I back up Jeswaldo, plus we at least know that Castle's Peak will keep us in the castle. It's true. Yeah, but is there any um, other castles? I do appreciate your worth's um, call out that says you're 24 armor class now, no need for tactics. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Barbarian um, trap climbing from here on out. I mean, it's, yes. Um, it's, it's charming that he thought there were tactics before this. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He knows better. Um, <laughs> yeah. Old Jeswaldo would have just thrown one in by now, but new Jeswaldo yes. is waiting. Um, Alimus, do you have any thoughts? Well, we're still looking for the tomb, aren't we not? No, we're looking for his heart. <clears throat> so where my heart my thought is that the heart and his tomb would not be the same place. Because my vague understanding of how vampires work is, don't they have to, if they like die, don't they go back to sleep, basically? That's a, a lich would usually have a phylactery, a vampire would. And a vampire DM, would have a coffin. A DM, coffin. with my Hexplain uh, background, can I confirm or deny that a vampire is destroyed when you kill it, or that you have to destroy its sort of essence in that way, or? Make a religion check. Absolutely. And DM, why are you doing that? Take an why advantage. He's doing that. In the moments when we were in the area close to the um, tomb that the uh, strange voices were coming from, um, saying to leave and all that, and we were being teleported around, was there actually a tomb in that area? Um, that you a could crypt. not see. 
good at the scene. point because um, you and Athelflaed were going ahead with some dancing lights, and then things immediately erupted into combat. So it was a fifteen for that religion check. Uh, fifteen. You feel that there is something elusive about a vampire that just slaying their body is sometimes not enough. But beyond that, you're not quite sure. I think Claire's on to something. I can't remember. I should have written down in my notes. Um, mm -hmm. A vampire is not so easily killed. Yes. Well, well I'm, similarly, it sounds I sounds like he's got several protections, but aren't we putting the cart before the horse? Wouldn't you we need to first first Sorry. destroy his heart, the heart then has to destroy come his body, and then destroy his coffin? That is what Baba Lasagna said. Or if the coffin is involved, or if there's some other processes, get him, stop it, mm -hmm. so that he can't come back. But the heart has to come first, obviously. Um, so, Alimus, I turn back to you, being our sort of resident brain. Do you have any thoughts to add to the conversation? The master's tomb is going to be roughly, that's obviously got to be where the coffin is. So, does it heart have to come first? Is that confirmed? Yes. We cannot damage Strahd's actual physical body until we kill the heart. That has absolutely been confirmed. By my so now we're just trying to figure out what's the best way to get to the heart. Well, and I've that's heard that what I'm asking you. The best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So, well, I don't really feel like offering up any more blood to Strahd than we've already done. Don't want to go back to the kitchen. <laughs> that was a disgusting place. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying. Just... Blue to ancient magic swoon. What's your choice, guys? Indigation Castle's of Peak. Master's Bride. That's can either, Castle's Peak. Master's Bride could either be where we've just come from, behind those grates where his brides are, or it could be... Kresk. Kresk. Knowing our luck, it, it would be Kresk. Red if law is what you seek. The Lich is also law. So that could Here also comes be. Here comes his tail wag, her little snake tail wag, because that's her friend. All right. Well, it's since it seems to be the elemental. less potentially catastrophic option, like being teleported back to Velaki, um, I let's go for the peak. Spire. Nope. Peak. Castle's peak. I can't. I'm so fucking tired. Orange. Oh boy. <laughs> the heart could be in Castle's Peak. It could also be in a mountain spire. All right. Orange. She said she orange. Peak. Orange, you're glad she didn't say peak. No, sorry. Wait. All right. So the top of the castle. That's what we're saying. Is it going to work? Castle's I'm... Peak. Castle's Peak. Are we you going all to fall? Step through. Yeah, right. And we and just. And... One by one, reappear. All to your deaths. Mm -hmm. Well, in a strange room, <laughs> a dark, and dreary room here, with manacles attached mm -hmm. to the walls. Here in the middle of the room is a wood-framed bed, with fitted with leather restraints. At the top of the bed rests. A closed iron chest, its lid sculpted with an emblem. A wooden ladder leads to a trap door that, at the ceiling. Thin streams of water drip through the trapdoor's rotting wood, forming a small puddle around the base of the ladder. And of course, stairs seem to curl down on the other side. I'm uh, not really about that. <laughs> can we take a quick look at... Um... I guess it's in our journal, right? A quick look at um, uh, the uh, maps from Cyborg. Right. Sure. So yep. Does the we... roof appear to be peaked? The roof. Yeah. Um. Let's pull this up. 
I see it what appears. You're at, yeah. yeah. I. It does not. Interestingly enough. Interesting. All right. Well, no heart here unless it's in that chest. All right. Uh, do you think that's worth investigating at all, Jezvalda? I will look at it. Appraise Once you're it. in the room with me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you all got there pretty quickly. Um, it is a um, armored chest fitted with an iron lock. I don't like these restraints on this bed. It's a little concerning. That seems odd, but why would you have a chest in a... I guess maybe the whole torture equipment? We will oh. investigate this uh, this chest. Okay, go ahead and make a roll, little Jeswaldo. I'll make your token regular. I would like to assist you. Oh, thank you. Because you I have rolled a 13. You can assist me if you like. I will assist anyone. Hey, DM. Jesus, that's a 13. Um, do the linens on the bed look like they're really old? <gasps> they do. Mm hmm. Like, probably not used in a really, really, really long time. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, they're pretty rot starting to rot away, basically. What are you thinking, Commander? Lavis, I will assist you. Oh, sorry. So, in what we know about the whole Strahd, Sergei, Tatiana situation, <laughs> um, it wouldn't surprise me if he maybe kept Tatiana here before she killed herself. I do not think that that is what the journal said happened. I don't remember what happened between his death and her death, though. That's... Nothing. She died, that was and then they killed him. Yes. She died immediately. I thought it was the other, I thought it was the other way around, because she, she chopped herself she off She threw herself thing. off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, then uh, I don't know who's kept here. That's concerning. Uh, I will, um... DM? Yeah. Can I fly up to the, the top of this ladder here and see if there's... So you said there's a latch at the top of the ladder? Mm -hmm. like a hatch? Is it... Can I open it? Or, like, is it... I'm gonna yeah, try you can try. Push yep. Push um, against it. Does it open? Sure. Damn. Uh, yeah, it let's let, let's, let, let's, let, let's let, uh, let's let uh, Cyborg I'm do this sorry. first. Yeah. We're, yeah. That's all right. So, like, he reaches up and tries to push open the latch to see if yeah. there's... And uh, it seems like ra some water starts to pour in. All right. All right. So, and then Cyborg kind of... It wants to peer out and around like okay am i you um as you open it the rest of the way you you um hear this kind of hissing noise and as you open it the rest of the way you um see a cloud of bats rain begins to bat down at your face and they are all just swarming around two or three of them swoop down into the room you're at before going up all right drop the latch he knows where we are now. Um, I would still have to tap magic money in DM. Okay. Um, and I'm, yeah, you do that. Um, the chest itself seems untrapped and everything. You don't detect any magic on it. Um, yeah. And as you're looking about the room, then you guys see a bit of movement up in the rafters. And up above, you see a face, something lurking up there. And then it realizes, as the rest of you point towards it, that it's been made. And this little spindly man, not much larger than a child, looks out. The light begins to illuminate his face, and you see it's painted with a jack-o'-lantern-like grin. Hello. Who are you? And you can see this thing then gets down and hangs from the the uh, rafter that it's on real quick, oh. and then shoom, shoom, drops Come down. Hurry, everybody, don't kill it. And as yes. it gets up, you see this in front of you, which I will display in the chat. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, aren't you just a terrifying little creature of whimsy? Hmm. 
it um i will pull it onto the um, actual map so the uh jade if you can show then the audience can see the mm -hmm. creature uh, yeah audience before. can see it already and when you say oh weren't you uh it kind of perks up and as you say terrifying it <laughs> it's like creature shoulders of whimsy just a little bit. <laughs> so i finished kind of cocks its head and it kind of jingles its jester hat around and then does this <laughs> awkward little bow. Although I have to say, not nearly as terrifying as anything else I've seen. Yeah. Desi, I love it. Can we keep it? Oh, oh. My name is Cyvor. Cyvor. Quick. It looks up to you. What oh, you pull say? that out of my notes. What did Piddlewick. you say? Piddlewick. One of the tombs that we explored His downstairs is so, so cute. was Wait. for Piddlewick Fool of Dorfnia. Wait, you know this? You know this person? No, I don't know who that is, but I wrote it down. It's that. Piddlewick! It's one of the tombs. As he continues to sort of move about and make these gestures, um, it's obvious you're not looking at a, actually a small man, but more of a mockery of one. It's not a creature of flesh and bone, but a construct made of dyed leather, tightly stitched together, stitched together and wrapped over an articulated frame. You hear soft tumbling and clicking of gears inside. Piddlewig, do you know where we can find a... Would you, oh, would you lead us to it? And it Fantastic. gives a sharp nod, and it kind of. That's promising. Do you around. need anything from this chest? Shakes his okay. head no. Okay, are we? Walks over. It kind of dances over, and then looks up at Elimus. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> what that you you do that? That's I've seen you do that. That's it. Ta -da! Ta -da! Looking up at you, Alimus. Very good. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. This is very good. Is my mic quiet? Oh, you're missing just a few things here, okay. but. Okay, and then it kind of just waltzes around the room a bit. All right, it's a halfway muted conversation. Are you checking mm. the, tra the, the chest, Giswana? Um, yes, uh, I'll open the chest. And while I'm watching this thing, and I say, I look toward Claire, and I say, watch this. And I stand on my head. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, the uh, little thing tries to do the same, and then ungracefully just flops over onto the side in failure. Unable Aww. to stand on its head. Yay! Get um, a wig anyway. <laughs> Jeswaldo, you um, also believe you might have a key for this. Looking at the lock. Oh, <laughs> you, you remember that? Uh, uh, well, yes, we know. remember. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, came in handy. And I use it to unlock the chest. Okay. It clicks open easily. Inside is a bejeweled crown of gorgeous craftsmanship. The emblem on the front bears this likeness. The crest of the Tsarovich lineage. The castle's crest. Mm. Is it magical? No. Interesting. Any oh. gems on it? You said? Yes. It was bedazzled. It is. Diamonds? Very bejeweled. Um, uh, yes, I hadn't thought about the breakdown. Um, I will get back to you. How many diamonds do you have of the necessary variety? All. 
all of them. I I had the diamond two. Yeah. There was uh, so far there have been two specifically encountered in the game. And didn't you give them to me? Mm -hmm. I have now. Yes. <laughs> oh. Um. Damn girl, look at that. I don't know. I will get back to you. <laughs> well, I will remove thing, any so. diamonds yeah. that I see. Noted. Okay. But then um, I suggest we follow this little man as he leads us to the Thump Thump. Yeah. Should thump, we just thump, not take thump, the whole thump, crown thump, with us? Mm -hmm. Do we need a crown? I mean, do it's we not, not need not. a crown? You're already wearing his brother's armor. I'm thinking that I'm going to look for every way to piss him off as much as possible. Ooh, that's that's probably do it. Great. Dunk. <laughs> so he kind of goes along do, 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 and then gestures down the stairs. Do, 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 do. I'm going to walk very carefully, stepping where he steps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he kind of does a little dance as each of you go by. Oh. <laughs> I like him. You He's would. probably going to kill us. When do we run? I want to keep ship? him. He kind of looks up at you, Alimus, and does a little dance again. <laughs> Maris dances in return. <laughs> I try to recall the words of Fireball. <laughs> Maris, it's, it's we shoulders, follow. Clink, it's clink, shoulders clink, kind clink. of slump. I don't say that. Clink, clink, I don't clink, say clink. that, obviously. I'm like, yeah, but he's he, he reads your mood and kind of very shoulders good. slump. I, and I kind plenty. of wonder, since he did have a tomb downstairs, which is, by the way, where, Akanthi, you have a deck of cards in your possession now. Um, that came from his tomb. Um, I kind of wonder whether he's, like, actually dead and whether this is just, like, a construct recreation of him or whether he was actually a construct the whole time. There was a... Just musings that I'm having as we're following him. Yeah. You know. Do you think All right. Deck of cards. cards, was it magical? No. I thought they were just cards. Why don't we Truth be told, to... we didn't mess with them because a deck of cards. You yeah. were very afraid, afraid of the deck of cards. <laughs> I would have cast to tap magic, though. Um, yeah. It was illusion magic. Yeah. Specifically. Ah. <laughs> very interesting deck, as I recall. The and you DM, would have remembered. The DM and me says. To, uh, Yes, it would be a deck of illusions. All right, we go downstairs. Don't you start to walk further. your way down, and as you as the um, path curls down, you see this faint reddish glow begin to cast its way or cast light along the stairs, and as you continue to go down, maybe about forty feet. Um, suddenly a greenish glow accompanies it. <clears throat> Soon enough, the tower opens up and drops straight down into darkness on the side of the stairs. There is a small landing, but in front of it, there is a giant red beating heart. Slowly, hey. slowly beating. Good call. Surrounded by it, or surrounding it is a shield, I said, of um, sort of crackling green energy, which seems to grow in, t in intensity as you guys approach it. Okay. Good job, Piddlewick. <clears throat> This guy's no joke. He does a little dance. <laughs> oh, Maris right. applauds. What magic am I reading from it? I don't know how long's left on this spell. Just let me know. Abjuration magic. Abjuration. Is this something you can dispel? Hmm, maybe. I will try. What is what is underneath this? Darkness. I pull out a ball bearing and just... Whew. 
Ting. So judging from the seconds. 60, 60 feet? Judging from the seconds, we should not eat ourselves off of these stairs. Well, thank Maybe God there aren't any demon ghosts. Further than anyone's dark vision can see. If we are able to get down this green glowing vortex of don't go here, then maybe everyone uses ranged attacks. That sounds prudent. Roth is gonna go over to where Aethelflaed is and just sort of swirl around her so she has a 360 shield of just rock snake. <laughs> you can just shoot over. Very, like an, an very angry vocal cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. All right, and guys, here you are. You are um, at the top of the stairs. There's a bit of a landing in front. You were also told that um, this sphere of energy was likely connected to the gem that you took. Oh. Right, we can disrupt it with the green gem, right? So one of us has it. I think it was just Waldo, maybe. Um, yeah. I'm the one who has the took green it. stone. Yeah. So let's get that bad boy out. You threw it to right. me, and I gave it to Ethelflaed. Please That's show right. me but where since you then guys I've are. identified it, so I've got it. All right. All right. On the stairway, or the landing okay. at this point. Okay. Um, um, you guys also yeah. notice that um, lining this entire stairway and around here. Um, are what look to be the old, maybe old posts from the guards where on the walls are mounted halberds. It's a floor coat in, mu uh, in blood. No, this is just the glow from the crystal heart. And as you see it, it is indeed not an organic structure. It almost looks to be like a gem, some sort of crystalline structure. Oh. And it beats, but the beating is almost like some sort of fluid just undulating inside over and over again. So knowing what we know about these hearts and the fact that they can be used to animate inanimate objects, is anyone else concerned by all the weaponry on the wall? Well, can they be removed? I reach out and grab one, pull it. Take it off and seems to be normal. Nothing's okay. glowing magical in here apart from the heart, yeah? Correct. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Let's get that gem out. I'll pull the gem out. Um, maybe um, anyone who wants to be in my aura should be in my aura. Which I think is up. Some of us Ooh, have to be. Yeah. But I'm also surrounded by... Well, technically, <laughs> I don't think you are, but... I have to be. Well, then... There. there. Oh no! Can't the flies out! <laughs> <laughs> Kanth, are you still an Earth Elemental? Yeah, yeah I've, I've five, five hours. hours. Yeah. 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 So you are yeah. large and still an Earth Elemental. So, Limus, you pull out the gem. You feel it crackling with energy. The sheer, um, the sheer fact that it is so close to this other force field seems to be they're reacting almost like um, um, uh, similar charges on a magnet, repulsing each other, but also generating this sort of crackling energy okay I try to focus whatever I need to do on it to disrupt it okay you feel like potentially bringing it closer might do the job right now you have you've identified this it is not a point and activate object it is I will walk up to it then all right do you, you have all the way up yeah. and as you it's for lesser major what's that Nothing. As you hold it forth, the energy suddenly leaps out like a um, um, like a Tesla arc <laughs> against the walls. All of the um, halberds against the wall start to shiver, and the very stones themselves start to shake. I need everyone on the stairs and around, I guess, except for Cyvor to make a dexterity saving throw. Whoa. Okay. Including Elimus, who is by the edge. Oh, really? okay. oh I can't even try to grab a Kantha because she's a giant rock. 
then plus the four orc. to anyone near me. Which is everyone? So oh, 25 for me. Okay. Nine, ten. The The ten? No. D1. Um, you no, you Akanta, you rolled a d4, not a d20. So that that's not how that works. Yeah. Um, I rolled a that's 13. Not at all how it works. Abort, 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 abort. Uh, she rolled an eight. Uh, Akanta, are yeah, you in her aura? Yes. Okay. Mm. You're not. Am oh, I but she's aura? but so she's in her rock form, but she's been kind of like protecting me. So but she's weird. she's spatial. She can't actually occupy your space, though. So, so she's, she's not. technically not in okay, my bye. world. I just I need can't. to know. I need to know the answer. Oh. I think I think the answer is no. Okay. no can't yeah. rolled a d4. She hasn't rolled. Yeah, she rolled an eight to start. Yeah, eight, an eight. I thought, yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, yeah. she Obviously, was the yeah. second roll. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Kampa. All right. As that happens, the very tower itself seems to try to repulse all of you. Unfortunately, you see then Akantha with a roll of an eight tumble off the edge of, of the stairs. When we get back, we'll be entering initiative order to see how <gasps> all of this plays out. Oh the my God. force field begins to diminish Giant and you rock. hear other creatures <clears throat> crying out from outside the tower Boy. below and above. Crap, crap, that crap, is where crap, we crap. will take Rock our combo. break. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sticking around. And we are getting right into it now. After a bit, a bit more exploration below Castle Ravenloft, the party made the decision to take the portal to the castle's peak. There they met this spindly little jester creature, creature construct, named Pedalwick, who showed them down to where the Heart of Sorrow lives. And there it is, standing in front of them, this giant crystalline structure, sort of pulsating with some sort of internal magical liquid inside. And then um, also, uh, and then sheathed in this uh, orb of green, crackling abjuration energy. Elimus has gone up, has placed the crystal next to it. It seems to be disrupting, starting to disrupt the shield. He has to hold it there. And as it does, the energy has cascaded out and all of the halberds along the wall seem to have quivered and come to life. And the stairs themselves begin to shake and rock violently, trying to cast the adventurers off of them into the darkness below. Now we have rolled initiative, but before we did, the first shaking happened and dear Akantha has been pitched off the side of the stairs. Uh, Jeswaldo holds out his hand and says, Whoops! Let's not have that! And I cast Featherfall on All right. Rakantha as my Rock reaction. Rakantha. All right. So Rakantha is just a few feet below and beginning to... How, how fast does she fall now? I believe it is at a speed of 60 feet per round. So hopefully okay. somebody can grab her and pull her up. Interesting. Okay. So here we all are. This is cast off. She is um, falling into the open there. If you were I'm like, if, if, if a cat was like to grab the side, could she like meld into the stone and just like it sort cannot, of. Unless she has to have worked stone to be able uh. to do that. Um, It doesn't look like she has an initiative though. Yeah. Um. I, I saw that. I will add her character here. Did you roll initiative? Did I see it here? No. Could you roll initiative, please, Akanta? Woo! Damn. Where was that when I was attempting to fall? <laughs> attempting not to fall. Yeah. You're falling. You're falling beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I want to succeed at everything I do, and that includes falling. So far, you're winning. All right. All right. So, just Waldo, you managed to stay on your feet, look and see the rock falling and falling, and you look over and um, cast Feather Fall. Um, that's interesting because you would fall 
All right, so we will say she has fallen about 10 feet down from the edge at the moment. When you see her and cast the spell, she's beginning to fall at her 60 foot per round speed. Could she push off and catch the steps on the other side? Um, on her turn, obviously. On her turn. Or is there a way for her to, as a rock elemental, like punch the side of the rock and just start like climbing? But because you know, Let's rock see. elemental. Um, on her turn, she could try to do something. I will leave that up to. Up All right. To yeah. her. <laughs> um, but yeah, she has reached past. The point of the stairs, where she cannot grab onto these anymore. She is falling, but falling slowly. Right. Now, I should point out, as soon as, she, as, soon, on. as soon as she stops for any reason, um, the spell ends. So if her if she grabs onto the uh, the wall, Got it. then for whatever reason you fall again, then Featherfall is no longer in effect. But... Uh, no. If you... Um, if you... I don't know if if you just float down. I don't know how far down it is. It could take you a long time to get there, going at sixty feet per per round. So, uh, but you're not going to die from fall damage. At any rate, it's my turn, right? Yep. All right. I yell out, "Protect the Limus!" and I attack the halberd that I'm assuming that I'm holding. Um. Yes, there is one that you are, uh, for all intents and purposes, <laughs> grappling right now. Ah. Uh, yeah, I hold it out and just king try to lop off the top of it with the uh, um, rapier. Where are you on the um, on the map? I don't see. I'm right you. there next to Claire. Oh. We're all in the aura. Yeah. Why can't I? Why can't I see? I'm you? all up in that aura. Does anyone else not see? Oh, just you're on top of seat. her. Gotcha. <laughs> oh. There we go. That was weird. Uh, so I will attack it. Um, so I'm hitting AC 17. Uh, yes, that hits. Doing 32 points of piercing damage. And it shatters. Ha! Um, and then I will... Can I leap over here? And get between alignments and as many of them as I can. Uh, sure. Yep. Right to there. And that is me done. Cool. Count that. Uh, you are up. The stone stairway above you is out of reach, but you will descend about 60 feet now. You could try to catch the edge the next time it comes around. Um, this is kind of what you... I will show you. This is kind of what you see coming below you. Just even more stairs descending. Hmm. Though no... As Jaswalo explained, once you catch yourself, you are no longer slow falling. Okay, that's... Oh, God. Um, so I'm like, am I going to take more damage if I just fall? Um, unless I could do something very uh, athletic and grab something as I'm falling and pull myself up. Well... Only the edge of the stairs, about 60 feet down, would be the only place you could try to do that. Am I close enough for that to work? Yes, you will pass them. Okay. Right about 60 feet down, that's why I asked. So. And if she attempts it and fails, is she still feather falling? Or if you, she attempts The feather fall only ends if she lands on her feet, by the way. Spell only ends if I land on my feet? Okay. So even if I grab and miss, then I can still feather fall down. It does not specify that. It's, if she lands, it ends. If she lands on her feet, yeah. she takes no If damage, you try to so. grab it and you miss, then you're probably fine. Yeah. If okay. She lands, but uh, it... that's, then that's what I'm going to do. Okay, go ahead and make an athletics check. I have a plus nine in that, by the way. <laughs> Believe! Okay, you are about 60 feet down. Okay. Clinging onto the edge. Oh, thank God. <laughs> And unless you have an action. Um, I, I mean, if I, could, if I still have anything left on my turn, I would try to climb back up. Um, 
onto the onto this like pull myself the rest of the way onto the stairs so i'm not okay. just dangling yep. half your movement to go the rest of the way up there they look like big strong hands don't they <laughs> oh no Anything else? You have some more movement. Um, it is about 60 feet to get you all the rest of the way up. So. Okay, I would try to go up. Uh, yeah. So I what's would, the rest of your movement? Towards. And to cool. dash, what, what what is your movement as an Earth Elemental? I think it was like 35. Oh my God, it, it doesn't want to stay up. My movement is 30 feet and burrowing is 30 feet. Okay. So you make it 15? 45 feet if you take the dash action. Nope, she used her action to try to grab yeah. So you make it 15 feet of the 60. And we come to Athelflaed. Yay, not falling. Okay. Thought he was going to say yay to Athelflaed. Okay, fine. I would like to take my short sword and hack twice at the magical halberd next to me. Okay. 22 and a 12. 12 oh. will not hit. 22 will. Oh, okay. I thought you said both will not hit. I was gonna... Hmm. I was like, what? <laughs> so it's the 7. Okay. You put a bit of damage into the haft, so it just seems to splinter. Bop. Anything else? Um. Was that half damage? Thank you. Uh... Sometimes you gotta do what you have to do. Akanta, are you okay? <laughs> you guys are reaching for these. Um, <laughs> it's Peter's the AP. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <I> thought, <laughs> <laughs> See, that That's counts. what you hear. Anything else from Athel Vlad yeah. besides the nope, two Nope, just, just screaming, okay. screaming for Akanta. Elimus, uh, the thing resists you. It resists me. You will need to... Whoever is holding the stone, you think, will need to use their action for the next rounds to maintain holding it as it tries to repeatedly repulse you as you deactivate this shield. You can communicate this to your allies. Um, I think I'm going to get hit by a lot of things. Uh, he will look around. He will say, hey, I need time. And then, obviously, for flavor, push his hand up towards with one gem, and the other hand taps the staff on the floor, and he whispers the words, Hasinium Saltum Morum. And a wall of force will spring up from here. Why can't I draw? Uh, you do need to use, whoever is holding it needs to u either use their action to continue deactivating yeah. the force field, so. I was, gonna pl was planning to do that next round. Oh, okay. I see. <clears throat> so I draw... Why can't I draw a line? Oh, there we go. Uh, so it was to here. And then all the way to there. And a wall of force appears. 100, that's 95 feet. So it's 100 feet. I don't see it. I've drawn it on there. Was it not seen nope. by anyone else? I don't see nope. it. It's that magical. Why was it not shown for anyone else? But I believe in you. Oh, there it goes. Can you see the blue line? Yeah. You did it! Just I, like Tinkerbell. I had, Tinker to, Bell, I had your to belief. Oh I, I had to click off of it. <laughs> huh. So I cast Wall of Force. Okay. Okay. Um, just so you know, as you cast this wall, it's about 50 feet up or so. Mm hmm. Because you guys descended 60 feet down, so. It will delay, but things could simply go up and around the wall of force. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, really? It's wasted then. Oh, okay. I'll well, just hold my action then. Them I'll use my action to, to push it up then. And yeah, because you up. are. This is a giant tower. You can see up yeah. and you can see way down. If you uh, were trying to protect yourself, you could dome yourself or put yourself in a you know yeah, enclosed bubble maybe potentially. That, yeah. But then he'd have to. Well, I mean, if he or if he put the wall of force around him and the heart, I couldn't do that. I no, I couldn't. I'd, I'd have to dome myself. 
So just trying to throw out some additional options or to build yourself a little. I will rely hobby. on my friends. I trust them. <laughs> All right. Okay. So make a Constitution saving throw, please. As this green Old energy. Old words. Sixteen. Sixteen. You are good at sixteen. The halberds come. Constitution saves, though. Maybe that should be in somebody else's hands. <laughs> um. Uh oh. <gasps> uh oh. Jinky. That scared oh, me. Oh, it's oh a my god. A lot god. of dudes just like that. That sound. Oh my god. Uh oh. Peter has a few <laughs> things. Legitimately like scared me. Oh I've my got God. an 18 and a 5 against Alimus. Five miss. And probably a whole lot of misses against Oswaldo. Hey. Well, he already burned his react? Oh, no. Yeah, I did. That's shit. He did. Yep. These things are... All right. Uh, my highest by far is a 23. And then I have 23 a... is my armor class. I have a 15 and a 14. So... <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, I will use uncanny dodge on the whatever damage I take from uh, Mr. Mr. Axe. Okay, uh, you can half. Um, That's a reaction as well, isn't it? Nine no. points of damage. Is it not? Nice. Uh, is it? Let me double check. It could I be. I can't remember, to be honest. Uh, no, is, uncanny dodge is, 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 is a reaction. Right, so I, I have Thank to take you. it. I was only Thank I you for catching that. And I'm saying, thinking, is it? Is it not? I can't All right. remember. Against Cyvor, I have an eight, uh, 19. So, I'm sorry, and I didn't catch that damage. Nine. Nine. Claire, I have an 18, and Cyvor, I have a 19. Nope. Uh, 19 is a hit. Eight points of slashing damage. Rude. All right. And it's Claire's turn. All righty. Um, I will... Let's see. I'm gonna walk myself through Maris over to here, except the attack of opportunity if there is one. I just you imagined you phasing through me. Yes. I <laughs> critically hit for 11 points of damage. Okay. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it changes. Okay. You you and I will attack you. this fellow here with my uh, by the way sword. I will say that it's easy for you guys to see out whoops that is not there um, Does a staging 13? things to this part of the tower uh unfortunately no 13 all right I will uh, try it again so you can see out there's another part of the tower here Kind of <gasps> a double I could <laughs> Beautiful natural twenty there. Thank you. Uh, so fifteen damage against uh, this halberd in front of um, Elimus. Fifteen, you said? Yes, I did. Uh, hmm? Noted. And that's, uh, my turn. Maris. Okay. So, Maris sees all of these floating halberds descend upon her love, and she gets very upset. And so she invokes the name of Saloon and casts um, Word of Radiance. Don't worry, they haven't Whoa. hit me yet. Is What is the range of that? Just double check. The... It is five feet. Feet, so I can scoot closer, right? To right. Jazzy. So I'm gonna need to actually get all up in that. Yeah. And Come she on. Does. Right into my she, space. She right runs into my space. to him. She runs to him. And so <laughs> then she casts. Can she cast it from mini... inside my space? Can I? Um. She would have to go in and out, which would provoke two attacks of opportunity. Or stay she, there, and you guys would be squeezing. She she, she steps she steps in. She casts the spell, assuming that there's any that are still left. 
then she would get a tax of opportunity when she stepped out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And she already is provoking one along the way here. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which one? Well, the one that didn't attack yeah, Elena. Gotcha. In the name of love, she steps into the space. Right. Are this busy? Um, on your way, you take eight points of slash. I'm assuming 22 hits you. It does, yeah. Eight points of slashing. Okay. And then you get here, and then they have to make what kind of save? A... Let me see. Sorry. I had to a click wizards. another button. <laughs> uh, it Wisdom? is a con saving throw. Con save. We're mm-hmm. better at that. Um, and it's I have wisdom. five, one, two, three. <laughs> Not good. Which one is it? <laughs> it's con. Tell me straight here. Hot I'm, sauce. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, Trying to be sneaky. One, two, three, four, five. Sneaking. Um, top to bottom, I have 19, 17, 12, 10, 9. Okay, the 12, 10, and the 9, I get those baddies. Boom, we're going uh, basically clockwise around this. So the one that Claire hit is absolutely um, turned into smither- smithereens. Would you say that it's irradiated? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> and the rest of them, yes. I like that okay. hustle. I like that hustle. Very I, I try nice to contribute. <laughs> bit of damage. Is it? It's just all or nothing, right? Because it's a cantrip or... Uh... Yeah. So wait, I have a. Wouldn't it hit the other two also? That rolled under a sixteen. Yes. It depends. Yeah. What does it say? What does the spell say? It, it's it says all or any. It says any creature. Well, it is all or nothing, but it says any creature that I can see, up to like as in many five feet. as I want in five feet. Yeah. So the ones beyond five feet do not take it, and the ones that saved take zero damage from it. Good grief. Are, are you sure that, you know, it's does it, not the does ones right in front of me? Does it say they take half if they succeed? Or <laughs> it's a, it's it's a, no, nothing. It's a cantrip. Cantrip. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. It's a normal. Good good cantrip, though. Uh, thank Hell you. of a cantrip. I just, I just try to help her. Seems I can. underwhelming at lower levels, but here it's great. <laughs> yeah, but she has to step back out again, yeah? She does, yep. or she can stay. It's up to her. She's just gonna wrap her arms around Jesse. <laughs> right. All right. Shielding him with her body. <laughs> you guys are squeezing. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Cyborg. <laughs> I wow. love you. Uh-huh. Good God. All right. So, uh, Cyborg is gonna go ahead and. Yeah, he's, he's so he's gonna go ahead and uh, crack the whip against the. Uh, uh, the halberd that's in front of him so oh that was sorry that was short sword but same damn difference uh an 18 hits lovely and that does eight damage okay and uh so i can get my extra shieldies uh, i'm gonna go ahead and punch this mother so uh oh a 26 for my unarmed strike um nice yeah right Apparently I should just hit things more often. All right, nine, and then uh, cracks so in the, half as you punch it. Fan freaking tastic. So it's kick gonna, it, whatever you do. So it's gonna be like, yeah, and that's what he does. He does that like thing. So he like cracks the whip and like binds it, and then like takes his foot and like breaks right through it. And then oh, he that's then turns, cool. And then he, t- yeah, right, right. A little bit of flavor on that. Uh, and then he's gonna turn and move towards this. No, he's not. He's gonna move towards this. No, I have to bonus action. So yeah, he's gonna move towards this one, and then uh, unarmed strike. Uh, that on my bonus action, which is a 19. Hits. Apparently I need to hit with my feet more often. Okay, and then that's just five damage to that. Cool. All right, lovely. And that's- Very good. Um, all right, top of the round, the floor begins to pitch wildly again, trying to shake all of you from the tower. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Maris, you and I are at disadvantage. Yep. Oh no, Alimus. But advantage because of love? Sorry, I use lucky. Okay, gosh. I was, I was muted. <laughs> and I was gonna um, say goodbye. Peter, do you need me to make a dex save? No. Okay. 
plus um, four. Well, tell me honestly, were you flying or walking just now? Oh, I, I I just kicked something, so you know, I'm 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 walking, like I'm walking on sunshine, but flying is just as easy. So, you have a fly speed though. I do. Uh, there's nothing to prevent you from just catching yourself with normal movement. So that, yeah, right. So you do not need to with your fly speed. Thank you. Plus four for Maris and Jaswaldo and Alimus. Oh yeah, twenty one then. Cut your guys' rolls. Those were all pretty good. All right, all right. natural You're one first. Fun. Good job, team. Oh, look at that. That's why lucky is good. How many luckies do you have left? Well, I've got two left. I need one. Got you. <laughs> how, how many floor? How many floor pitches you got yeah. left? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, How no. long is it going to take you to do this? All right, Josualdo, you're up. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm I'll going to especially. attack the one that is next to Alimus with my short sword. Oh, uh, I sorry. also... Um, look, 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 blade, sorry. Alimus, you can maybe see maybe figures or something moving along the walls with your great passive perception quite a ways down. Chelsea, you can hear... Scritch, scritch, scritch of call. Claws against stone. We have incoming. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so, um, is is an attack roll at a disadvantage while squeezing? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, the cost of canoodling. I'm still not able to do here. I'll just do this. Roll with disadvantage. There we go. Can't you move, though? I have mm. struck a DC uh, AC of 13. It uses itself to parry the blow. All right, and I'm going to give a Limus um, uh, Bardic Inspiration for his next con save. Thank you, sir. Hold fast, the Limus! Stay on target. Hmm. And that is me done. All right. Forgot to do this. Do this. Let me do it. That was right. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh! The no! climbing becomes clearer no! as. Cresting the side to you, um, Akanta, are some creepy looking creatures. One is clad in what look to be long flowing robes and has this tattered old wizard's hat on. Another one is dressed in what looks to be maybe um, plate, some type of plate armor, but has a remnants of a shield. It looks like maybe there was a holy symbol once there, but it is defaced. Um, scribbled over with look what look like um, profane symbols and lettering. They don't seem to use these armor, bits of armor or their weapons anymore, only their claws and teeth. Fight's a real party killer. Um, previous As adventurers that have come here, question mark? Two of them ascend to you, two of them come and are climbing the walls here. Mm-hmm. Confess smash. All right. Okay, that's, um, yep, those things are absolutely creepy. So my first attack comes at a 22 for the one. Yes. All right, it is going to grapple you and then try to bite you. Bite comes in at a 19. Lucky rolls, which will deal eight piercing and then seven necrotic. I have resistant to piercing. Oh, nice. Very good. Grapple. Um, you mean so hug. You reduce that. And then um, your hit point maximum is reduced by seven. Can it grapple a huge creature? She's yeah, large. I'm large. Oh. And my man. just out of curiosity, she yep. is made of rock, right? Uh huh. Yes. Does she have blood to suck? Yes. She is still an element. She is still a creature. If she was. If she had no life force to suck from, um, Got it. she would be immune to necrotic damage. Um, actually, actually a, a 
question then about the necrotic damage and hit point reduction. Is that applied to the um, elemental form or her actual form? Good question. No, it, it should be applied to the elemental. Let the DM make the call. Oh, yeah. Um, these are always interesting, so. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, let me, let me think about it and I will, will for now, apply it and we'll see if it carries over. I, okay. I have to and, uh, uh, can consider you, that you, for a moment. Yes. Can you repeat how much damage I took? Um, uh, you took eight piercing eight. and seven necrotic hit point maximum reduced by seven as well. Equal to the necrotic. The other one's gonna try to do the same thing. Gonna try and grab you with a twelve. That won't work. So it will claw you at a nineteen. Um, and we'll just slash at you, um, dealing nine points of slashing damage, and hurting its fingernails. Damage resistance to slashing. Yeah. Yay! So you take half damage, right? You're, are you yes. doing that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. And then it is your turn. I Cops am going smash. to smash yep. because I get two slam attacks. I want to bop each one on the head. Just go. Hmm. Okay, well, that's probably not going to let me hit. Ooh. Natural one. That's a natural one. Unfortunately, that yeah, automatically misses. Hey, okay, let's. Alright, oh, let's try this again. That's a, that's a 17 to hit. Nope, that's a 25 to hit. That's a, that's a 20. Oh, yep, yeah, 25 to hit. And 19 yeah. bludgeoning damage. Ooh, are you top or bottom one? Uh, whichever one attacked me first. I would want um. to pop him like a grape. Gotcha. Um, the word. Yeah. That would be 19, or the top one. And yes, okay. you poof, poof, crash your fist down on top of its head. Anything else? That is. Yeah, I would try to continue going up, if possible, to get back to the party. Uh, you are grappled. Um, okay, I'm stuck where I'm There's a large creature. Um. I believe you have to be two sizes larger in order to just simply take a creature with you. So you unfortunately have no speed at the moment. Your speed okay. is reduced to zero as you are grappled. Awesome, that's it then. <laughs> Elimus. Another con save. Mm. You are going to continue trying to break the shield around the heart. Or do plus something else. Four. 12 plus a d6. Is it a D6 or a D8, Sean? D6. Uh, oh, look at that. So it would be a 14. Do I think that's going to be good enough or do I use lucky? I'm going to use lucky. Oh, for fuck you sake. <laughs> Uh, but I get to. Uh, I don't get to do the uh, the things thing no. again, do I? No. So it's a twelve then. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sixteen points of necrotic damage. Wow. As it, you feel the heart trying to absorb your life force into it. Okay. You feel if you do this for one more round and succeed, you will have broken through the shield. Okay. Also, Peter just rolled max damage for that, so... Yeah, yes. that was... That's why I said, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Okay, I continue on. All right. My little halberds don't like it, so they attack. Uh, DM? What? You, you, I skipped your turn. It's your turn, you Athelflaed. That's what I was like. <laughs> I was thinking about it, because I was like, oh, she's in an interesting position here, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I am in an interesting position. Quick I question. 
I am interesting. Um, so I get two attacks per turn. Can I stack Horde Breaker on that as well? So I would get three attacks per action. What is the Horde Breaker feature? I'll put that up for you. Yeah, yeah, post it. I love Horde Breaker, and I don't know why I've been sitting on it. Oh my god, it's so... For the Horde! You can Horde shoot at any Horde. any target within five feet, I think. Look dark! Look dark! <laughs> I'm not that kind of work. Once Stop on each of your turns, me. when you make a weapon attack, you can make another attack with the same weapon against a different creature that is within five feet and within range. And everything is within range. Uh, just the yeah. the um, keyword here is a different creature. So. Yeah. 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 That's that. That works. So does Ooh. that mean technically she gets four attacks? Yeah. No, on each of your turns, when you make a weapon attack, you can make another well, make... attack with the same weapon. So she's I made. Think, she makes I think two I weapon get three. Attack. No, no, no. She I doesn't I... get. She gets three. Um, okay, three. I was just checking. Claire. Yeah. Yeah. I love it, but three. <laughs> yeah, right. um, okay, so the one Why next to me that's you been using that because <laughs> I forgot about it half the time. I know I'm a horrible. I love it, and I forgot about it. I would You're like not to. Horrible. That's true. I'm amazing. I would like to smack Fracha with my short sword for the one right next to me. Does a 17 hit? Yes. What? So that's uh, 10. Shatters this one. Okay. Sweet. I would like to turn around and I, pro I don't have my hunter's mark anymore. Um, I'm assuming that I lost concentration when the floor went up and down a bunch of times and I didn't roll. Uh, so, you cat you upcast it. So unless you've cat unless you've taken have you taken damage no. from anything? Yes, I think I. Oh no, I didn't. I've only been healing. Uh, you you have fun. eight you hours of eight concentration apples. since you upcast yeah. cast it. I think so. Cool. So then I will do my hunter's mark on the one right next to Alimus. Okay. And I will fire my. Longbow you have to it. drop your short sword or short swords and able to do that. That's okay. Literally drop them on the ground. Literally this go undulating, boop. shifting stairway. Yeah. Okay. Bye, magic sword. <laughs> Bye, Bye, magic, magic sword that, space that... sword. I know. Bye, okay. magic sword. Uh, Can't you use a move action to pick it back up again? No. You do come back. <laughs> Oh, except it's not a boomerang. So, 22, does 22 hit the one next to him? It boomerang. does. And it has two hit points. Well, it's dead. It is. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Aww. Um. So then, I will horde breaker and go for the next one. Right there. And then I will... Um, oh. Cool. It. it checks out. I was what? like, my it's an older code, cut out sir, but it thing. checks out. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did I miss? I was reading Hordebreaker the wrong way, but yeah, super hits. Yeah, <laughs> it was a twenty-nine. Uh... So that's a twelve. Can I get cool. that laugh again? That, that was crazy uh... good. <laughs> 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 that was awesome. That was the I hit a twenty-nine laugh. I love it. A 29 on trash. <laughs> oh, that was good. Anything else for you? Um, I'm just going to stare at my sword. Space sword. Yeah. Yeah. We really want to attack the person that's hurting us, but we'll also do these. Just move in. I'm going to attack once with advantage against Jeswaldo and once against advantage against Maris. Uh, first, Jeswaldo, I have a 25 to hit for 8 points of slashing. Unless you parry it somehow, and then against Maris. No, I'm going to hold on to my reaction for Featherfall. Um, I have a critical hit for 13 points of damage. Can I use my reaction to parry that? Not against another creature. Even though you're in the but same we're space. in the same space. I know, okay, but... makes sense. No problem. <laughs> Um, that would lead to some broken back. It would definitely <laughs> lead to some broken back. Yeah. Absolutely, I would. That would be a nightmare. Okay. Um, Just keep a so, swashbuckler in your pack. It's great. How much? How much damage was that? 
Um, it was eight points of slashing. Eight points of slashing. Thank you. Two more come into Limus at regular attacks. Um, Got two. Um, One will... has reach. Oh. Um... I mean, they all have reach. Yeah, I mean, on, sorry. Um, five. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, eight and a 19. The 19, I will look and say no. Do a wisdom save. Cool. I'm not good at these. I'm a weapon. I got a nine. I'm an idiot. Nine. I, it, it, it attacks anyone around it. So at one, random? At random, so it's four people. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm doing oh, one, reach. two, three, four, five, six. And Claire, too? No, she's out of the reach. It's the... I... <clears throat> well... Maris, well, what's yeah. your thing? One, uh, two, three... Which one missed? If it was that, if it was the one at the back, then it wouldn't it wouldn't have a chance. That's... Uh, that's I, I know it doesn't make sense, but that's the order I was doing it in my head. Yeah. The one right next to me this, so yeah. Did I take oh. damage? My internet glitched out. Stand by. Excuses. Excuses. Yes, you took 13 points of damage. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. I didn't hear that. I must have not. Really? Wow. <laughs> My internet glitched and I just rolled a bunch of natural 20s. Um, one, two, it, three, four, five, six. Oops, that's a d4. Uh, two. Nice. That one. Oh, I got to do it again because it can't attack itself. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Can't you just use the two then? Because no, because I rolled a d6. So oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, no, Maris. Um, come on. Advantage. Uh, does sixteen hit you? No. That's a negative. Hey. You almost get mad at Alimus and then you're able to block well, away. No one knows what I did. I just turned around and said no. You just reach your arm around the back of Jezwaldo's neck and parry it with your shield. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman style. <laughs> Still got one in the cyborg here. Rolling regular with a 12. This is bad. Fiddlewick is just kind of like walking around. He doesn't seem to be affected yeah, by the undulating stairs. Uh, Elena's mum's back. She must have liked what? to show you. Hey, mum! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Your, well, I'm. Your gonna... daughter's up in initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, step mom, in. Mom, watch here. me. Mom, mom. And I'm going to try to swipe between. Mom, um... you're not watching. <laughs> mom, mom, watch this. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try to swipe between Alimus and the uh, Maris Jeswaldo cluster with my uh, longsword. There's Waldo? Yeah, Meswaldo. Meswaldo? <laughs> Blech, 11. I'm gonna have Jez to try that again. Jeswaris. Jeswaris. <laughs> oh my god, I, this is. Y'all. Y'all have too many limbs that are getting in the way of my sword. Mom, don't watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's there's I, too many Mom jokes watched. to Mom be made there. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's too ripe for picking. I'm trying up. to get through. I'm like, can you guys make some room, please? <laughs> that's my turn. Zap him again. Maris. Okay, so zap, zap him again. Claire's what? Zap him <laughs> again. Do it. Word of radiance. Okay, I'm a word of radiance. Um. Fish a levosh. Ah. Levosh. Fish a levosh. One, two. Allons-y. What? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I just wanted to say a big thank you to MCR Music, who's gifting everyone subs. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Incredible. Thank you very much. Bits and subs. Just. Um, mm -hmm. I have 119. The rest are below 13. So the third Hell one here yeah. saves. Okay. This one, go ahead and what's your damage? That's really uh, cool. Let's MCR. find out. Thank you for that. Yes, thank you. 
16. Dead. Bye. Oh, dead. <sighs> bye bye. Bye bye. Dead. <laughs> bye. <laughs> mm. I just have to say, in reference to your joke, Sean, those little moments are the funniest parts. Absolutely. Of that movie. And like, I, I do, there are I do so maintain. Many big grand jokes, but those little moments are way funnier than anything they do. They, the I, do I do have to say, it is not officially a DD game until somebody makes a Monty Python reference. And that's. <laughs> Going back quite a True ways. Facts. Oh yeah. True mm. facts. I missed it. Cool. Cool. Can I can I get Good off turn. of his space? Now? Please get off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm sorry. I just I felt da, really, da, 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 I felt really, really smothering me. I felt really emotional. I just I don't know. It's I'm, all right. It's I'm all right. Sorry. That was amazing. That here I'm going to put you right here. Uh huh. And you're good. Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna <laughs> make sure she is away from the edge. Uh, Great. Wait. She is away from the edge. Boop. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, then that's my turn. Cyborg. Cyborg is going to go ahead Cyborg. and uh, short. Hi ho. Unarmed. Ho! Strike. Oh, that sounded Ooh. good. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so Moon Touch short short was a crit. Okay. So that is. Uh, uh, 13 points of damage to that Halbert. Okay. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Damn, damn it. All right. So then the unarmed strike is 10, and it will do <gasps> seven points of damage. be enough. There's so yet no again, there's another, be. like, Did it whip hit? Crack. Spin move. Oh, you just... Oh, Does on it... 10 doesn't hit. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. That was a good point. No worries. No worries. I do, I do hardly approve of the name Halbert. Halbert. Oh, hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. All right, and so then I'll attempt a second unarmed strike then with my bonus action, which will be a tw a twelve. Will that hit? Negative. Oh man. Negatory. Man. All right. You're so just that. like that that whatever muscle that is like, you know, on the outside of your hip that you uh, use to raise your leg up. Just getting a little tired. Right, right. That, you know. Oh, should have stretched. Yeah, that feeling. It's whatever I do when I sit all day and I go, ow. Yep. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, that's that rude. muscle just isn't working for you. All right. So, uh, yeah, but that, and that's me. So. Cool. Top of the round. You all know what that means. <laughs> Dexterity saving throws, please. Yay. But not a disadvantage anymore. We're going to rock this town. I realize now the folly of love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was totally cool. I loved it. Can I do a deck save from my throw? Uh, for my sword, I mean. For my throw. What? For my throw. Can oh. I throw for my sword deck save as no, well? No, Maris! <gasps> bear, bear. Goodbye. Bye! <laughs> Maris rolled a one. She gets yeeted off. She's like, see ya. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Not with just Waldo like, on the clock. Oh my god, I'm flying. <laughs> oh my god, I believe I can fly. <laughs> just Waldo, I assume that you look in panic because your no, loved one is flung me. off the edge and <laughs> yes. use oh my your reaction. god, your wife is dying. Okay. Featherfall, and that is why I saved it. <laughs> <laughs> I Did you knew anticipate it? it? I knew it. I, get I saw it coming. <laughs> down into I the saw hole. it coming. I We're not yeeting Nemo's today. We're yeeting Maris. Maris was like troublemaker from the start. Um, <laughs> Did I see one from Earth Elemental? Oh, did I confidently need to make one? Yeah. Ooh, what am I making? On the stair. Dexterity hey, saving throw, save. please. Am I in range of her, by the way? Because I can... I can target multiple people. Illusions. Interesting. She is... It's a 60-foot range. Good. Good. And I don't actually have to be seeing them. Oh, really? Five falling creatures within range. <laughs> As Jill and the vampire spawn grappling her also begin to fall. And yes, I said she fell 60 feet before. You haven't really moved. So yeah, you are. She is nice. just ah! within 60 feet. Yes. Oh, she climbed up. Oh, yeah. 
take this <laughs> sweet road <laughs> we killed Liz's life. I, I hope everybody was able to be here for a couple weeks ago when we did our musical episode. Uh, there's a little taste. We plan to do it again. It's going to be amazing. Liz is like, I almost died. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh, that movie. Holy sad. crap. Okay. Um, oh, God. <laughs> So, so I, uh, I use my reaction to save Akantha and Mera. It's just like, ha! Ah! And then ah! I spin around and I strike at the halberd. Um, before <laughs> your turn at the top of the round, unfortunately, oh, as you are saving on round three, coming in from the mists is a cloaked figure. Oh, uh -huh. shit. And you think bitch. it's a very strange thing that happens. You see just perhaps the rain smells just a little bit stronger, like maybe a gust blew it in, but then you can hear a drip, drip, drip coming off of the cloak as you hear the whistle of a scimitar as how can I bring this on to the right lair? Someone you recognize. It was this son of a bitch! Strahd's bitch. I said, I said it was Strahd's bitch. It's the frog guy. Yeah. Makes frog his eating first attack bitch. at a 29. That will hit me. Seven points of slashing damage. Makes two more attacks. Woo. At 28 and 29. Both of those hit. Or seven and eight. So a total of 22, I believe. Okay. Three hits of the scimitar. And then... You guys hear this sound start to emanate from him. Looking into his eyes, it's almost there's such coldness there. You think back to what you've heard about him, what he helped to do, what you heard about the other Dusk Elves, that he was complicit in their destruction, in the killing of all the women, all the female children. And he smiles just ever so slightly and the deathly choir of all the souls that Rahadin has claimed swells out and buries itself in your mind. I need all the, well, actually, yes, please, everyone within 15 feet of him. That's Jeswaldo, Claire, and um, Elimus, please make like, a wisdom saving throw. <sighs> to be falling now. 28. Uh, so 14. Uh, 14, you take 21 points of psychic damage. Oh. Half on a success. Wow. So how many for wing? So seven. Is that right? So how many did you say? No, 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 no. 21. 20. So 10. Why 10. Be. What was the, what was the save? What was the beat? Did I, did I fail at a 14? You failed. You failed. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And it is your turn. All right. Awesome. He looks, um, <clears throat> and he said, this cannot be allowed to continue. All right, I'm going to stab the, uh, Halberd. Oh. Should have stabbed him. That sucks. Uh, that's a natural 20 with AC 30. Just total and the damage. Because I have um, the uh, the feat of um, finesse mastery, I, uh, I get to do another die of damage on that. 35. What? It's 46 points of damage. Is it even possible that it's still alive? No. Oh. It is very much not. You did, did Is that factored in the extra die of damage? Um, I just double checked. It's not actually. It's, uh, it's like hit on 19 or 20s. Um, okay. And I have the option to. It's like a brutal critical. Yes. It's like. Yeah. So, it, yeah. It's all factored or, in. Not it's hurt. Brutal, but yeah. Anyway. 
Um, it's it had two hit points. Yeah. <laughs> and I pull out my throwing dagger and I throw it across the room to use my bonus attack to attack the other one. Oh, okay. Uh, that will be a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and boom. wait, I'm waiting for the follow-up crit on that one. Uh, twelve. Son of a bitch. Yes, mm. just misses. All right. And I'm done. Um, the <laughs> one vampire spawn is like, where'd my lunch go? As, it, as you start to tumble off the edge. The other one, though, is going to try to bite you. Akantha, uh, with 11, doesn't hit. Claws at a 24, though, which I believe hits for seven points of slashing damage. Is it still grappled onto her as she's falling? Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Which, with, uh, it's halved, because I have resistance. The one on, the one sort of north of you here. This one makes it just about not quite up here, but it is below the stairs. So if she- it Runs up with this dash action. If she's feather falling, does the vampire attach to her feather fall as well? It or? is grappling her. Okay, okay. So they are um, entwined. So if she were to shake off the grapple, it would fall. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Shake it so, off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Um, the rest of these use their action to rush up to about here. Crap. Akantha. We're going to shake it off. <laughs> okay. Shake that uh, thing that off. Will Uh, require an athletics or a dex uh, or uh, acrobatics check. Ooh. You sort of take it off your arm and just rip it off and <laughs> drop it, and it <laughs> falls and then thumps down onto the ground. With sixty feet. Bye. <laughs> uh, takes survive yes. oh it's very far away <laughs> it's, a, it's an obscene amount of twos and ones in that but all right. I know right that's, that's, <laughs> a, that's so sad um, for you uh, Athelflaed you're up Oh, yeah, you can use the rest of your turn. If you are falling can I land again, on him? you can fall another 60 feet down, but you would have to use an a you use your action to escape, so you cannot grab onto the um, next ledge as you float down past it. Okay, can I can I land on him to cushion my fall? You are still 60 feet above him. Okay. You're just ballooning on down like a big rock balloon. <laughs> awesome, nice. It's a clear. A Led Zeppelin, here. if you will. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, cool. Wow. Interesting. Athelflaed, you're up. You cannot see this. It is. You can probably hear it now, though. It is directly underneath the stairs, working its, its okay, way up Sean. the wall. It's okay. <laughs> is it? Not looking so hot here, y'all. Um, Getting a little messy. <laughs> uh, I would like to Shoot transfer that. my hunter's mark to Mr. Man. Yeah, it's that scimitar wielding bastard. That that jerk face. So he's got my lovely hunter's mark now. And then I would like to fire my longbow at the halberd next to Mr. Monkman. <laughs> does a 15 hit. It does. It must. Um, <laughs> the halberd next to Mr. Monkman does not yeah. get hit Mr. by Monkman. a 15. What? Well, then I'll, I'll, I'll... <sighs> I will do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Natural one automatically misses, unfortunately. Anything else, Athelflaed? At least I didn't hit you. Can you I didn't... see my sword? 
Has it fallen into the abyss? It has. Goodbye, As you dropped it, this sword. shaking stairway is. <laughs> Does it hit the creature at the bottom? <gasps> yeah, <laughs> right through its forehead. I don't know. <laughs> None of you can <laughs> see. <laughs> it. Roll a one d thousand. Don't tempt me. Um, <laughs> so that's just a d one hundred ten times, right? So, yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, okay. I think just it will roll. let you. Anything else from you? Otherwise, Elimus, it is your just turn. Just roll four d tens. Heels. I'm dead. It doesn't kill it. Um, ah. Oh, I thought that was a damage on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead so many times over. Surprise! Yes, it's my turn. Yes. You, you almost it. have it. Do it. I do it. Do you press on? Yeah. Cool. Make a constitution saving throw. Da, 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 17. Chronic energy arcs out, but you stand <laughs> resolute. You hold the gem and press it forward and everything shatters the gem itself and the shield around it you only see this glassy um, sort of crystalline heart no shield before you and that's my action correct correct okay oh, oh. I, oh, oh. I can't do anything else with that at the moment but I will move away from the edge. Five, ten. And yeah, that'll be it for now. I can't really do anything else. Cool. Um, <laughs> Hal Hero the Halberd <laughs> still up attacks uh, Cyborg here. With 21? A 21 will hit. Nine points of slashing damage. Claire, you're up. He's like, for my brothers! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we were hewn from the so, same log. <laughs> <laughs> um, with my... The eternal failing branch of my branch. Reasons um, unknown. Um, I'm going to turn... Now, I'm, my roll 20 is sort of flipping a fuck a little bit. Um, is where is Jizwaldo? Because his token for me has disappeared. Um, he's right next to you. Oh, okay. Now he's there. That was very strange. All right, I will turn my blade to Rahadin. Is that the the correct pronunciation of his name? Uh huh. Or rather, I don't care because he's a son of a bitch who needs to die. So let's Ooh. just stab him. Um, say his name wrong on purpose, like real wrong. Roll wrong, 20. Yeah. 20 hits. Okay. Raiden. Um, and I want to <laughs> toss a, I want to toss a first level spell slot of smite into there for an additional three D8. Is that, I'm sorry, damage. is that divine smart? <laughs> your bleach yes. Divine smite? Okay. Yes. Sean's okay. actual question <laughs> leaked out. <there. laughs> smart smite? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so 20 <laughs> damage uh, total on the first attack. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll swing in around a second time. Uh, see if I actually do I anything. 13, I, I probably I not, unfortunately. He parries All it right. away. There you go. Um, I'm going to sidestep to here. There you go. It's to gone. interpose myself between yeah, no him exists. and the wizard. Okay. Oh, thank you. I love people who look after the wizards. <sighs> Maris, you are falling. Ah. Fortunately, you, as you fall past, are not within five foot feet of a structure to grab onto. You so can, I just keep falling? You can see Akantha also falling about 60 feet. <laughs> Sorry, I just think that's Can she funny. shoot something? We're like... Yeah, at, like falling at 60 feet, she should be able you to... You could see the um, this vampire spawn clinging to a wall, and you could probably see this one just on the edge of the stairs. Well, yeah, I am. I'm going to shoot it. Okay. I'm going to shoot it with... I love this image of you like... Oh. <laughs> Is she like within range to use the um, the the um, thing of Ravenkind? The 
or the an- the amulet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this just made I me think of like know. Iron Man. <laughs> we can look um, in the handouts. The handouts. The Magic handy. items. Mm-hmm. Holy symbol of Ravenkind. Uh, Thirty feet. So no. Uh, well, yep. what I will do is fire my crossbow at it. <laughs> the one that's, like, climbing the wall. Because fuck that guy. <laughs> Don't you have a spell? Probably have a better I chance. I do. Of is that, that a... Okay, so... Better, yeah. Well, I was just confused. So I could do that or... Yeah, even a cantrip. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, dopey dope, 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 dope. Okay. <laughs> It's like we couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> well, dopey dope 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 dope. Dopey dope dope dope. Dope 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 dope. Um, so what I will do is cast. Ooh, super funsies. Um, can I cast my favorite thing where I have all the fireballs and they? I have many. You to can. The that is a spell slot. Ray. Just yeah. So you remember, but yes. It is. It is. Um. So, I mean, it's just so fun. We need a decision here. You're literally okay, falling. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Uh, no, no. Okay, I'll just. Ha! I'll actually. I'll toll the dead. There you go. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Um, I will toll the dead again at the one climbing the wall because I just don't like that one. Cool. That's a wisdom save. Yerp. Got a fourteen, which fails. Yeah. Bye. Is undamaged, so it will be the D mm-hmm. eight version. Mm-hmm. Three D eight. Roll three D eight. Ah, sorry, my computer is doing something. Sorry, <laughs> right. Cyborg, you're on deck. Just so you know. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know what happened. It like signed me that out. Says you rolled twenty one damage. Okay. That's okay. a high well, amount of damage. Yeah, that's great. A lot of damage. It seems resistant to it, but it still takes, you know, about ten. Nice. All right. Mm-hmm. Cyborg. Moon touch sword on that son of a bitch of a halberd. Go. Oh sp- my god! <laughs> what right. a story the dice are telling tonight. <laughs> us. Unarmed strike against the son of a bitch of a halberd. Twenty-five. Go. Oh go. my god. For nine damage. One HP, buddy. It just was. I shatter it. And then kind of... For the phalanx! <laughs> All right. Uh, then Cyborg is going to fly towards the heart and proceed to, like, kick the crap out of it. So you use <laughs> an, an arm strike on the heart. Shot to the heart! <laughs> no! You, you wow. It's more so solid than name. you would think, unfortunately. Oh. Wow. I am the saddest kid. Of, yeah, what? What? Yeah, does what the heart kid is saddest to to beat? Look. Oh, boy. Like. <laughs> What's that? Sorry. Does the heart even have an AC to beat? It does. Okay. That is a it na- does. Doesn't matter. <laughs> one fails. One fails no matter what. Oh, could be but a mushroom. Not, but it doesn't. It doesn't have a movement. So any spell that like does damage turn after turn on something that doesn't move would be great to use. All right. So then, uh, so that was uh, five, ten, fifteen points of movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of my movement to fly. Five, uh, five ten, fifteen, thirty, forty, and then 50, to get to this side of it. So okay. All right. And that's my turn. Got it. All right. Top of the round, people. You know the drill if you're standing on the ground to make a deck save. If you're falling through the air, you keep falling. Yeah. All right. Do we have any... 23. 27. You're all good. Even 13s? Yep. 13s are good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You basically not, have to not suck it's at crap. Not that brutal. 
<laughs> um, are you looking pretty damaged as Waldo? I am. He will look you in the eye and you will hear those same um, voices again. Oh. Everyone, he will actually step to here to do it first though. So everyone, please make a wisdom saving throw. Everyone within 15 feet of him? Yes. I have failed. No. 24. This is a save versus 20 points of psychic damage. 25. 20, so it's 10 off, yeah? I think everyone's looking a bit hurt. So he is going to focus yeah, this one's his attack to take it out of us. onto you. Um, first attack is a 16, but then he follows up with a 27 and a 29. For Both of those 17 hit. points total of slashing. I am unconscious. No! And it is your turn. I will roll a death saving throw. Uh, here we go. I rolled a 10. A success. Let's be done. We got gotcha. you. Vampire spawn. Hmm. Yum. Let's see. We will... You're incapacitated. Yes. Bite with it. <laughs> uh, can't find your neck, though. Hello? Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> oh, well, no. okay, keep, okay, just so keep in mind, I used... Okay, so... I guess now that my turn is over, I would still have the AC from my shield because the last turn I used my dagger. Your AC doesn't change. It still needs to hit you. Well, my AC has gone down because Maris is no longer in a in range. So Oh, okay. What is so, your what is your AC now? It's 21. If you right. say I can use the shield, if I can't use the shield, it's 19. It's part of I mean, your like your actual shield you're wearing? Mhm. Mm yeah, it's part of it. It's part of your AC. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you rolled a uh, 20 uh, uh sorry, rolled a 19. And I was like, that's why I was like, come on. And An then the second one. Yes, an advantage okay. was, a, and the second one was a 21. Great, that's very lucky for me. Yeah, so that's meet to beat, right? 21? Oh, 21, yes. Yeah, the second one. So, uh, failure of two death saving throws. Two death saving throws. Plus your max failed. hit points is reduced by five. Fucking shit. Um. <laughs> Claire, I uh, come. The other one is like, this is my kill. And um, the other one rushes at you. The uh, <laughs> attacks at eight and seven. Yeah, yeah fuck no. Yeah, not at all. Akantha, falling slowly. Um, by this time, you reach the ground. Did I get to land on the dude? Please tell me I squished um, him. You. <laughs> Please let me squish him. I'm gonna die anyway. Just give you me can make an day. attack and try and squish him as you yes. land. Yes, 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 yes. Slam attack. Yeah, it's prone, so do it with advantage. Do I? Doesn't need matter. I was gonna say, do I need adma advantage for twenty-seven? Roll again, see if you crit. Yes. <laughs> go smush. It's the little things in life, guys. It's the little things. Crit fish. Crit fish. <laughs> No, go with the first one. That's a net one. Yep. Nope. Veto. Unfortunate. Um. Yes. Twenty-seven. Uh. So the twenty-seven, fourteen points. You bop it on the head. Yes. Again. Got popping like a grape. Not quite, though. It looks looking more grapey. It's looking like mm. half crushed. Do you have two attacks? Crazy. I do have two attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually do. Oops. Advantage again, oh, then. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. Okay, that one. We're going to ignore the two. And we're going to do one more time. One more time. Oh, so close. Nope. And it got me feeling so. 16. 16 mm -hmm. hits? Yeah. Yes. 16 is fine. 
had exactly 11 hit points. You <laughs> grape its head. Yes. <sighs> it's great. Run up the stairs, run up the stairs. <laughs> and then I'm going to dash up the stairs. <laughs> okay. You can make it to the stairs. You can Giant. make it up uh, your your speed, basically, to up the stairs. Element. Okay. 30 feet. Yep. And I forgot about this vampire spawn, so it's going to go right now. Grab on Athelflaed with a crit. Rude. Ah. Oh. Oh. Which it will grapple you instead because it really just wants your blood. It tries Rude. to bite you for 15, which I believe will miss. Yep. But you're grippled. Grippled. And it's your turn. I will. <laughs> Ungurple. <laughs> yeah. Ungurple me at once, sir. <laughs> Damn it, short sword. It was worth it, but still. Damn it. Um, oh, yeah. Who, guess... yeah. Whoever gets to the bottom of the tower, they should pick up the short sword and run it back up to Athelflaed. <laughs> she already turned around and started running. There's another one coming but down the pipe. Your girl Maris has fallen. <laughs> Oh, I thought she was just falling in love. Uh, I will. Oh, burr, 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 burr. I will stab at that thing with my dagger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two time. And then. No, Both are going to hit. Breaker. There's nobody else. I was like, well, that'll do Horde Breaker, but I can't. So, 16? Okay. It's a non magical dagger, right? Just a dagger. Doesn't seem to be quite as effective against its preternatural flesh, but it takes damage. Right. And are you done? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elimus. <laughs> uh, Elimus will move to there. Just what you needed, a wizard. Yeah. Uh, point towards. Z uh, what is this guy? Is he. Obviously, he's undead, but is he vampire? Um, vampire. he just looks like a very old elf. Oh, okay. Um, he looks, pl places his hand outwards, and speaks words that are radius solace. So, yeah. Nothing you've seen has suggested he's undead. Okay, he is of great ability. So, well, that is a. Constitution save for him and the one behind. If he is undead, he makes disadvantage. Oh, okay, cool. So if they're both undead, they both get disadvantage. Con, you say. I have a 25, and the one behind him is. That with disadvantage, yeah? One behind him is disadvantage, has a 6. Okay. So 32 radiant, Ooh. half if he saves. Okay, is that anything in the line, or just creatures anything, you choose? Anything, um, as in, obviously, he's uh, he's prone, isn't he? So it shoot, doesn't oh, matter. Was it well? It would. That would no. hit him. He's in the the line. Okay, well, obviously I won't. Do yeah, that. you could come over here. You could do it from here. Or do it from and, and like do it so through I, the two I, vampires. I was there, so I would go. Um, or yeah, no, you could you could hit um, Rahadin from here too. Yeah, you could hit just him with it. Uh, what you can't go diagonal. I'll go with, uh, five, some... ten, fifteen, twenty, and then cast it. Yeah, that's fine. It diagonal. Ah, uh, that was still hit in both, wasn't it? The diagonal, you have to zigzags. When you when you're t picking up squares, so you'd have to hit oh my either. Oh gosh! Wow. Ah, oh, yeah. sod it. Okay, I won't cast that then. Um, I will cast something else. I thought I'd be cool and cast Looking. that. It is cool. <laughs> it's just your allies are. Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you so can do, if you do it. it from here, you can hit both of the vampires, and those are kind of a pain in the ass. Like if you do it from here, they will from both right make below the me. At disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like well, that's hit, not a bad right here, use of the and spell. And then cast it upwards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, an angle. Okay, I'll do that then. Yep, it just seems sixth level spell it. for that. But yeah, okay, yes, fine. I'll do that then. So, if they foul, it's thirty-two radiant. They both take thirty-two. And they're both blinded. The fullness of it. And what did you say? And they're both blinded. <laughs> That's a big deal. Blinded. Blinded by the light. <laughs> Ripped up like a douche. So <laughs> 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 
halberds don't exist I anymore. Douche. Claire. Come on. Douche. He doesn't <laughs> say douche, he says douche. Um, <laughs> I don't appreciate. Um, oh, sorry. Cyborg, I was, I can you get finished. just Waldo? Oh, you're not. I wasn't oh finished. My God, never mind. No. Oh. Sorry. I got confused with love. And then I will. Alima will, says he's not finished. He will point his ring at uh, at Jezwaldo and speak the words. Ah, no, I'm BC mate. It's a leveled spell. Oh, is it? It's bonus action. I'm gonna... Okay, I can't do that then. Right. Sorry, Sean. The idea was there. Was that the sound of the you had to be going cool. back into your body? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It's Yummy. a spot. <laughs> yeah. Claire. I'm hoping Claire can oh. be aware of what happens to unconscious targets with dexterity saving throws. Just keep it in mind. Your turn. Yeah. That Sorry. doesn't happen until the top of the round, right? You're right. It doesn't happen until the top of the round. But there's no one else that can heal him. That's not true. No. It's oh, Cyber's guy. We have a plan. <laughs> is it You've been chatting. Cunning. <laughs> um, we okay. we definitely don't chat during the game. No, no. I should no, see this chat. That. Um. Alrighty. Um. I am going to hexblades cursed Rahadin. That's a bonus action. All right, go for bonus. it. Bonus. And in bonus action, so I will summon the power of Arjunvas might. And then do try it. Hit him. Um, with my sword. Please, 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 please. Seventeen, please. Yes. Uh, versus Rahadin. Yes. Will not hit. Damn it! Damn it! To heck! Try again. That was bullshit. I saw the <laughs> dice on the screen. Knock it away. Damn it! I hate everything. I don't. Sorry. <laughs> 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 he quickly dip in and out of the of the uh, path of your blade and smiles. Um, yeah, I got nothing else that's really particularly tasty to do here, so that's me. You hear a mutter under his breath as he looks down at the giant dying form of Jeswaldo. I'm not used to making widows. Oh, get that. <gasps> wow! Keep your hands off my man! <laughs> and it's <laughs> Mara's keep your hand off my man echoes man, out from man, the bottom man, of the tower man. Maris you are about um, now 60 feet from the ground okay <laughs> so I just like keep falling right because there's nothing else I can do I can't grab on anything or... you see a Akantha below you as you are slowly slowly falling do you see my soul? <laughs> do you oh, see my soul? Love. I'm sorry about your husband, by the way, my place down I'm there. sorry, what's going on? <laughs> Priorities. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna do... Let's try a different tack. Can I see any other baddies, or is that dra the dragon Heller, the uh, little Very... baby Dracula? <laughs> you have at least one spell that has, like, over 100 feet range, right? Uh... Hmm. It's spell slots, but you could see the ah, one at the ah, edge here. Sorry. That's what I will say. And you can also see Cyborg <laughs> flapping his wings in the light of the heart up there. Okay. Sir. Da -da 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 -da. Be -de -de -do -ba -da -ba. Hey. Um. Who's in their boots? Who's rattling around with something? Is it me? Probably. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it could never be me. No, honey. You're okay. You got it. <laughs> Yank. All right. Uh, I'll do scorching ray to smack that punk I can see next to side. Smack that vampire. <laughs> smack it. that punk. Smack that vamp up. <laughs> <laughs> Where did my so, music go? That was, I just Scorching that. Ray, that first one will hit. Absolutely. Hey, Fire damage is important. Yeah. All right, That's all right, all right. If you get three okay. more rays. That's right. Three or four. 
Where uh, you I go. get actually five rays because I cast it wow. at fourth level. I don't. Boop, boop. Like I don't want to brag or anything, but I actually get five. That's I, I do a... hope, hope, hope somebody's holding on to that uh, that all important fifth level spell slot. Uh, uh, th that's I a pretty hot, Maris. Okay, sure that's am. five. That's hot. Oh, that's wait. hot. That's hot. All right. Oh boy. Yep. All right. So all but the twelve hit. So okay. we've got seven. Plus we've got twelve. We've got fifteen. <laughs> 24. Hell yeah. Blasting on this one. Very good. At the very edge of your range. Dope, 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 dope. Have to be that guy. Isn't that the guy who. Oh, snap. The that heart. That guy. Or yeah. yeah, I was like, did the, the heart shield move? Is down. <laughs> Shields are down. Shields are down. Shields I'll start your attack run. <laughs> yep. All right, brilliant. You're muted. All craft, move for attack. <laughs> <laughs> that is a marational flavor of that magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I love you five, all so much. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Next to Jesse. Uh, DM, to use a health potion, it is an action. Correct. Excellent. I will use my action to give uh, uh, health, Giswaldo a health potion. Hooray! 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 Uh, do I roll for that or does Je Jesse roll for that? Here he comes to save the day. Uh, up to you guys. Cyber. I will. <laughs> it's cyber. Two plus two? Normal health potion, yeah. Two d four plus two. d four plus two. All right, excellent. Roll into Dees. Dees is four plus, so, so you get six health back. Hooray! Welcome, welcome back to the land. Most importantly, <laughs> you're conscious. Six. Yeah. Anything else for Cyber? Um, since the vampire is blinded. Can I attempt, uh, okay, so is Jeswaldo within five feet of the dick bag? Yes. Okay. A great big bag of dicks. Great big bag of dicks. All right, so then I'm gonna move to there and uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action. He said, hopefully, ah, mother, all right. Hmm. All right, uh, then I am just going to unarm strike him. All of the bonus action. All right. So. Uh, you you have to have taken the attack action to do so, I believe, right? Or can For my unarm strike? I um, believe so. Yes. Huh? All, right. All right then. You can dodge. Oh yeah, no. So when you use the attack action with an unarm strike, blah, blah, blah. yes, that is this is true. It is so. Um, you can dodge or disengage. Hmm. Dodge. Well then, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move close to him and uh, do the dodge action. Then, hopefully, trying to make myself a more ap appetizing target. But okay, appetizing. <laughs> Top of the round, you know the drill. Roll my coquettish shoulder out of. Uh, does being prone <laughs> do anything for my deck save? I think you make him at disadvantage. Um, actually, I don't think so. Well, now that I think not. about it. Now that I think about it, being prone doesn't do anything for deck staves. Or, well, might as well look it up. Why not? This is the sound of my deck save. This is the sound of my deck save. Na, 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 oh, you're correct. You're fine, Kim. Cool. What about the blinded vampires, Peter? Do they? Oh, yeah. Do they fall? Oh. oh. They have a climb speed. 22. Fine. <laughs> Does Rahadin have a climb speed? He doesn't. Ooh. He has a roll. Get knocked. Please get knocked. Nope, he's he's rolled already. He is fine. No. Oh. And Limus, can't you like <laughs> lock him and force him to re-roll or something? Um. How many can, left do you have left? One? I can't lock him, no. I have a feeling I'm about to be unconscious again, y'all. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. No, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Don't have become faith. unconscious till I'm up there to he help has, you. He has three attacks. He could kill me. <laughs> That's just... Oh! 
Yeah. Well, that's, that's not going to happen. Maris told him to keep his hands off you. You'll see. He'll respect her wishes. Keep your hands off my man! <laughs> he is going to make, um, uh, use his uh, deathly choir <sighs> for wisdom saves against everyone. Gosh darn it. Every He's going choir to look around like... his, in his surroundings. All right, what, what, was that, what was that second thing he did? Uh, he is going to uh, regard his surroundings as he's looking about. I am unconscious. And turns God and damn. lays his three attacks into Claire, tactician he is. The natural one, the 12, and a 24. Uh, the 24 just hits. 11 points of slashing damage. Okie dokie. Oh, just Waldo, no. Does Waldo. Death saving throw. Mm -hmm. But now reset back to three total. Yes, right? Okay. Indeed. Oh, that's a fail. It is a fail. The vampire spawn will try to bite you again. Straight roll this time. Twice as it is still grappling you. Um, you're very lucky it's blinded. It has a straight roll as a 16 and a 14. Hooray! I am not dead! Huzzah! Oh, one of them has to be a claw, but it doesn't matter. Uh, try to bite Elena for a 20 and claw again for a 25. 25 hits. Um, B. Taylor is wondering in chat whether the vampires right have now. to save against the choir as well. They... So 25 against Claire with disadvantage. Yes, that's a good point. Thank you. Um, it doesn't have... Oh, excuse me. 20 yep. and then a... They're both blinded. Yep. And a 16. No damage to Claire. No damage. Whew. Yay, Claire. And a little bit of damage to these guys who stopped regenerating, but seems like they may start on their next turn. Thanks to the radiant damage. Akantha! It's your turn. I am still chugging along to get back to where everybody else is. Okay. You are now. If you're, if you're chugging from down and you did that full movement, you can make it 60 feet up. So you are now about 60 feet below. And you can see up where the action is happening. You can even see this vampire spawn attacking your friend Athelflaed. Who I forgot to roll the attack for. No, 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 no. That's fine. I was really happy. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's cool. I was that's like, cool. I, I'm fine. I um, I have a claw at eight and a claw at twenty. Uh, the twenty. You will... was it already grappling you? Try to remind me. Sha 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 sha. No, there was no grappling. Okay, Everything it will grapple you fun. now. Then your speed is zero. Awesome. It is your turn. You were grappled, Teresa. I was grappled. <laughs> it's enrolled I'm in twenty. It rolled a natural twenty. Yeah. Uh, not right, not only that, need, but you need to click on your uh, um, character sheet. Oh yeah, she even, even she even put the condition on. I remember yeah. seeing it. All right, so yeah. seven points of piercing, six necrotic. It's your turn. Yep. Owie. Hit point max reduced by six. By six. Come on, Piddlewick, yep. get in there. God damn it, Piddlewick, I was nice to you. Stab him with my dagger. Nice stabs. 25 and 23. Yep, roll the damage. <laughs> it's minor damage, but at least I'm hitting. All right. For 14? Yep. Yay. And Alimus is up. Uh, okay, Alimus with the opens his hand and the light is still in there fires it again uh i need saving throw same thing again with okay dis dis with disadvantage this advantage was it con again you said yep uh -huh. Good i have a six and a ten fouled so that's another 30 radiant and they're still blind they look like husks. Oh, of by the way, oh sorry, themselves. I forgot. The as it comes out, 
the radiance shines as daylight, as sunlight. I don't oh, know if nice. that's going to make any difference, but it's basically sunlight. That's yeah. Them. Um, let me see. Let's roll another one. No, it, I just rolled another bite versus Atha flat. If it was disadvantage, it still would have hit. But they're all rolling at disadvantage now. So. Right, so did 30 damage do anything to them? Yes, extremely a lot. They look like <clears> they <throat> have a literal one handful of hit points between the two of them. And so. then I point the ring at Gisbaldo and speak the same words as I did before. You can. He can do it. Yeah. You can. I haven't cast a spell. He didn't yeah. cast a spell. He just he uses action to repeat the effect. Oh. Very clever. So Very what, clever. What is a, um, a healing word? It depends on what level it was cast. It's only level, level one. Okay. Uh, Again. D4, isn't it? D4 I plus. believe it uses the... Uh, it's, 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 it's what the caster had when yes. they put it in. Yes, it's D4 um, plus whatever your wisdom is. Maris's would have been <clears> plus <throat> five at that point, so. Go ahead and roll it. Seven back. Seven back. Yay! And Claire's turn. Alright. Uh, I, I, uh, I <laughs> am mad beyond belief right now. So I just uh, let that fury coil and I will channel divinity on Rahadin to uh, vow of enmity him. So I have advantage on attacks against him right now. I just want him to fucking die. Please and thank you. Oh my god, 20. There you go. That'll hit. Okay. <sighs> die, you son of a bitch. Die. 12 damage. Okay. Uh, I'll go again. Oh, delicious smite. <laughs> There's that t crit you were looking for. Tell the people what you rolled there. I they... rolled a twenty, so I'm I am doing a level three slot, um, to divine smite. So that is a base of four d eight times two, which is eight d eight. Um, these don't suck. Okay, yeah, that was good. Uh, so uh, 12 plus 46 damage is 58 damage. Oh, plus eight more from my 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 curse thing. Okay. So you have 52 with the smite, the curse, plus your 30? Right? No, 58. Attack 58 plus 8. Itself. 58 plus 8 is 66 plus the first 12, which is 78. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a really good oh, plus hit. the first 12, yes. That's <sighs> what I was adding, yeah. He staggers die, endlessly. Die, die, <laughs> And you cut this gaping wound through his, um, what looks to be um, studded leather armor that he's wearing. He stumbles to one knee and looks up at you, eyes wide. Just one of those, like, <laughs> 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 You first, then up. your master. I still think it's hilarious. Oh, asshole. Maris, you land on the ground. Thunk. Okay. Maris immediately is like assessing her situation. Can she see the sword that Apple Flab threw? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and there's no baddies down here currently. So... Just a Whoa. squashed one. <laughs> Bye. Um, so I would like to collect the sword and try to run my ass back up those stairs. Okay. Yep. You can make it um, sixty feet up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, do, do, do. That'll be your action too. So. Okay. You're actually kind of uh, not quite where Chelsea is. You're at the opposite side. So. Okay. About sixty feet down from her. Okay. All right. Cyvor. Muted. Mute. I've been poisoned with silence. All right. So, um, <laughs> both of the vampires are still blinded, correct, DM? Uh, yes. All right. So I'm gonna hit this vampire right there, the one that's right on top of Jizwaldo. 
or well, I'm going to attempt to do that. That's the uh, one that is actually holding on to him at the moment, yes. You are correct. All right. Eh. Is that with advantage because they're blinded? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, well, then I should have done it with advantage. All right. Uh, I'll just move it to... All right. Uh, 25 or a 27? Yes. But... I'll take either answer. Yish. All right, good. That'll be seven damage to that vampire. You, um, as you wrap the whip around its neck and yank back, you see a sharp <laughs> 90 yeah. degree angle appear in the spinal column. It All falls. right, and then, and then I, I'm going to turn to Claire and say, hit him again, Claire! And I'm going to spend a uh, superiority dice. That was part of your attack action. As part of my attack action. So I'm going to use Commander Strike, which uh, allows her to take, using her reaction, another uh, another attack. Does it add the Angle attack or, damage uh, to the um, so attack the or to the damage? So the, the creature can originally make one weapon attack, adding the superiority die to the attack damages roll. All right. So you so can make an attack as a reaction. Doing you. it uh, with, if I can get my thing to work here, with advantage. Die, you son of a bitch. Die, 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 die. 25. 25 hits. Um, and that's nope. the the, the die, and I'm just gonna toss in there for good measure. The um, so 19 that's already. It's weird that I heard me. Um, a first level slot. Uh, for another 20. Just you know to cover our bases. Yeah. Uh, and 20. 28. All right. I think you muted yourself there, Elena. Rahadan. The betrayer of his kind, who single-handedly helped Strahd vengefully orchestrate the genocide of the Dusk Elf people, well, near genocide at least, stands on one knee before you and the final blow is yours. Through the throat, God, it's back so he can feel his own death. <clears throat> you grab and just grab out his hair and just drag the blade across um, your own strength nearly bringing it all the way back but resisting just a bit and as the blood pours forth onto his um, shirt you can see his eyes the hardness begins to fade into softness unconsciousness and nothing it's as if the is as if the soul not only goes away, but is pulled back somewhere very dark, very sad, cold, and lonely. Can and I, limp at for your feet. flavor purposes, kick his body off the thingy? Absolutely. <laughs> you do. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the next round, it would probably would have rolled off anyway, because we all have to make a deck save. Yeah, Indeed. so... Uh, as as he, I hold his hair up and I just whoosh, off you go. And he tumbles, which is correct. As he, everyone needs to make one more. Oh dear. Unless you have a climb speed. Twenty nine. Look at all of you. You're fine. You have to make another one, Maris. I'm sorry. With all the stairs. So many stairs! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Nat one. Uh -oh. Maris, Maris, you Maris are... is like oh. running, 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 and then she's like, "No!" <laughs> like in my mind, it just turns into like a slide. Me like, too. Yeah. She's just like. <laughs> that far up in one She doesn't turn? do spiral stills really. She makes the spiral too tight and just runs yeah. right up the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 60 feet up. Oh, oh no. Uh, 23 points enough. of bludgeoning damage. Fuck. <laughs> just Waldo. I really wasn't sure where that was going. Owie. I'm going to <laughs> stand up and <laughs> stab the remaining vampire that's in front of me. Go for it. This is what I meant to do before I fell. Oh. 
Well, <laughs> you do get natural Damn. 20. You do get advantage, but... Hell yeah. I don't think you need it. I don't think you need it. I, I think you should like, quit with this. That would be a lot of mathing. Um... <laughs> It has four hit points. 33 plus 31. <laughs> oh. Talk about 60 overkill. damage. 60 oh, damage. 60 damage. Almost as Whoa. good. Oh. <sighs> 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 oh. This isn't a contest, Jeswalda. Don't worry. I'm not this. I'm not. <laughs> You're doing and, great. And I will take out another throwing dart. <laughs> Throw it over at the other one. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna be a crit. Calling it now. Crit. Another crit. Come on, crit. Whoop, whoop. Come on, crit. Come on. Crit. Roll damn you. Come on. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of things came up. The first one out was a 15. That hits. No shit. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I don't get the sneaky attack. <laughs> Eight points of piercing. Okay. Resisty, resisty. And it tries to, it's blind, it just really wants blood. No, that one's not blind. Or I it's thought attacking it, I thought at disadvantage, it... it's in sunlight. Oh, sunlight, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, cool, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, does 18 hit you, Athel Flood? Yes, just barely. Six points of slashing. Well, that's not bad. Akantha! You're almost to the top. 18. I want to keep just barreling up as fast as I can. You guys hear this <laughs> Oh, what now? And Running you can up hear it stairs. just in its gorgly voice, Hey, James! And then, and then, Athel Flood. You hear the Earth Elemental voice saying, I can only imagine sounds, what that sounds like coming from an Earth Elemental's throat, so. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Uh, it. <laughs> yes. right? <laughs> it is your turn. Uh, double seventeens. Double daggers. Double daggers. Double so hit. That that's, yeah, I was like, so mean that's gonna hit. So it continues it's stabbing at this creature. It takes half of the so damage you'd expect again, but it's getting there. Looks nearly oh. dead. Barely hanging on to you, Elimus. Elimus will fire the ball of sunlight at the heart. Okay, it automatically fails. Roll the damage. Mm, yes. Twenty-nine nice. radiant 29 damage. Noted. And then we'll look to the one fighting a canther and speak his usual cantrip of rare frost. Twenty-four to hit. Uh, those were both actions, though, correct? Oh, of course it is, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Right. <laughs> what is it, like 3.30 over there or something? Come on. Yeah. Learn your class, Elimus. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I, I cast Featherfall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll wait for that. And we'll all just jump off. <laughs> and obviously the creature's blinded again as the sunlight irradiates. Yeah. Uh, the heart is would be blinded, unless you were. Well, the whole thing radiates sunlight into. Uh, I'll tell you. Hang on. Right, it's it's in sunlight, so it's attacking at disadvantage, but it's not blinded. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not blinded. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Thirty foot radius, then, dim light. Yeah. Bright light in Clear's thirty turn. foot radius. Oh yeah, you betcha. Um, I'll come Didn't over here. There? I will run over and assist Ethelflad. And roll my thingamajigger. Roll that thingamajigger! <laughs> Do it! Uh, 15 Do damage thing. on the first hit. Hits! It mm. is. Mm. Almost sever the hand that is holding onto Athelflaed. Okay. It's barely hanging on. Oh so no, that blood. was only a 10. That was not so good. Oh, will not do. Oh, well, jeepers. Oh, jeepers. Try to hit People again at the second, bad. but it, those bones oh. do not crack. <laughs> I now want like an, an all gnome party. Now just... <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. Maris. You're uh, at the bottom oh. again. Gosh, I'm no so sorry. Sorrier than Maris. Um, I, yeah. That's, so, that's um, not sorry. Oh. Actually, I'm just saying, I'm going to step back here oh. up against okay. the wall. That's it. Got it. Okay, uh, so Maris 
is like very disappointed in herself <laughs> because I really like the idea that she was just like, she's taken three, four steps at a time. She's like, God, get back up there with the sword. And then she fucking like ate it. So she brushes sword. herself. Nah, <laughs> yikes. She brushes herself off. She stands up. She's like, okay, here we go again. And she heads back <laughs> the way she came. All right. And you make your way about 60 feet up, Cyborg. Is it 60 feet? You can dash 60 feet. I can? You use your action to do it, yeah. I can? <laughs> I'm not dashing with just something like rogue oh people do. Are you level 99? Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Actually, great point. I just teleport back up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, okay, Cyborg. Cyborg like takes to the air and just starts to hopefully wail on this damn heart. So, uh, attempt. Uh, so, uh, sword. Punch. And let's try those two. Uh, 18 and a 23. 18 hits. Lovely. Has and, three uh, hit points. After and declares blow. Eight. So that Pierce first feet. short sword. Oh, oh, I'm uh, so sorry, Peter. I was hitting the heart. Peter, I was hitting the heart. Oh, okay. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll lay into it. Yep. Yeah, okay, good. So that's uh, that's eight uh, hit points yep. uh, from the first strike, and then 23 for the second, which is 10. Yep, okay. That, that sound about right? Uh, it does. And then, well, just for kicks and giggles, uh, flying over here. And I'll do a flying kick to the vampire. Okay. Hopefully we'll land with a 17. Yes. Excellent. Uh, and that will do six points of damage. <laughs> that will kill that one. Excellent. Excellent. Cyber kind of comes out, like, like, takes its head and just like drives it into the wall, like right behind uh, Teresa. Oh, sorry. Half a point. The heart looks scattered after the two uh, hits, barely any hit points at all. Barely any at all. <laughs> but that is slain, and now we are top of the round, as the heart is still alive. Once more, it tries to shake you from your feet, my friends. Okay. Oh, thank God. Athelflaed's good. I was like, oh, God. Just Waldo is... He's fine. Okay, I was like, I was like, oh. <laughs> I have a twelve. Am I fucked? No. No. Okay. That's what Jesse has. Seventeen. And one more for a Yay! None of you fall. Yay! And with that. There are three hit points left on the heart. Jeswaldo, roll Do it. Do it, Jeswaldo. Roll another critical. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Ah! Get him, Jesse. <laughs> oh, man. That was so... No! No, it did, the heart should be hit with a 12. Yeah, it, it is. Okay. Oh, okay, I thought it wasn't. I was like, oh, my God, no. It cracks and shatters, and little bits of it fly past you, almost nicking your face Ooh. at times you are worried for a bit about the collateral damage, but it does nothing to truly hurt you. The bits fly all about clattering against the ground, shattering as they fall the entire 190 feet down the tower. You hear splashing of blood, tinkling of glass, and no throbbing heart. The heart of sorrow has been destroyed. Yes. But at what cost? Yeah. 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 And so that's where we will leave off our session tonight.